Hello and uh, welcome to episode 17. Yes. 17, 17, 17! <laughs> Actually, yeah, we, nice the, we are. I was going to say, we are the episode of a K-pop group. Yes, okay. <laughs> now now they're going to be the thumbnail for the full episode. <laughs> even though they didn't have music this month. <laughs> even though we won't talk about them at all. Alright, so yeah, this is uh, the 17th episode of the Daybot cast. Uh, this week we're going to be do- covering releases and stuff, so that's cool. And uh, as always, I'm joined wi- by uh, Nate. Keep making my song when I'm in the zone. Don't look at my phone. Young Cream. <laughs> what the hell? Or possibly Jay Boog. I don't know who actually said it. Okay. Young Cream. <laughs> it was bad. Young, it's very young and very creamy. <laughs> Spoilers. That song was bad. Mm, yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Andrew. Okay. Number one, EXO was lit. Like literally, it was lit. Um, two, they're working on it, or one and a half, they're working on a new album. Uh, that's the one thing that I can announce right now. Um, number two, uh, friggin' my Bruins lost in over or in overtime on Saturday, and I was, I was angry the entire weekend. Like, well, thank, well, knock on wood, they got the Celtics uh, one, and they won last until night until Card so. came out. Yeah, until Card. Actually, no, I was I was pissed going into Card, like straight pissed. If it wasn't if the Celtics lost that game too, I would have been I would have been so angry. Um. And just a, like a quick shout out to uh, Isaiah Tom Isaiah Thomas. I think I mentioned this to you guys before, but Boston Celtics player. He lost his he lost his younger sister in a car accident, like twenty one on Easter Sunday. So, you know, shout out to that guy. Like he like he had to play. He found out that morning or the day before, like uh, through his teammate or whatever. And then the, the day after, they had to play their first game. So like you could his teammate found out before he did. Or like yeah they 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 were the ones that told him that he lost his sister so yeah just that, that's a rough situation I guess that what brought it up was the the Heechel ac- accident or minor car accident today so yeah always wear your seatbelt like it's like there's no yep. there's no reason not to wear a seatbelt please yeah you she don't. lost you she don't. lost she lost her life needlessly so yeah rip uh, rest in peace China uh, Thomas and number three I had we're uh, we're gonna have G Dragon in July. Uh, on top of like everything else that we're going to, I plan on going to that. It's going to be at the Barclay Center in Brooklyn. And then just a couple of minutes ago, we got announced that KCON, we're going to have K and K and Up Tension. And Jacob is not and happy. Jacob's not happy <laughs> because he built himself up in his <laughs> no, mind no, no, no. that it was either no, no. Taeyeon or or uh, Epic. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen here. They for the first hint, for the second artist in the first hint. They posted a picture of Nell, which have nothing to do with either of those artists. Like the band Nell, right? Like the, the band Nell, yeah, a picture the of the band Nell. Nell. So and they, they have I mean, nothing would, to do with either of those. How? Would, yeah, exactly. How would Nell? What would Nell have to do with? Like, did Nell collaborate with a like K-pop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I found a picture that showed every new, artist. Oh yeah, Taeyeon covered it. They've collaborated with on her new album. Yeah. yeah. And so then the second picture, Taeyeon. and then the second picture for the second one was a thumbs up, and I'm like, oh, it's fine. Like it's got it like the, like there's nothing there's like there's no yeah, way it they, isn't they're, they're trolling you or they're <laughs> yep well, yeah we, and then oh, after and then after the announcements they're like oh the catch me if you can and I'm like yeah but these were hints for okay today's artists okay but so like I said like I said yesterday uh like um, <sighs> yesterday a couple of minutes ago last year there were eight artists at KCON. This year, so far, they've announced seven. So there's probably one more. So that one more might be Taeyeon. Give me. There might Taeyeon. be more too, because it seems like they're making it. They they're saying it's bigger. The like, thing they is, said the convention's three times bigger. The, no, the thing is though, like how KCON works is that it's like a concert where it's just like back to back to back to back. So yeah, you yeah, only get three three or four songs, three or four songs each, and usually it's like three hours at most. Because um, so. Unless they expanded. for each concert or yeah t- total for each concert so like at mo- so unless they expanded New York to another day it's not that we're not gonna get any more artists I mean even L A only has two days like they have like a Friday that's convention day and then Saturday and Sunday are the concert yeah. days but kind of like Toronto K pop con but yeah we'll see we'll see whoever uh we'll have to get a hold of whoever's in charge of K con and just be like. We will not attend KCON if you do not have Taeyeon. That's far. not a lie. We need to see twice in G Friend. Yeah, that's true, that's true. That's true. I'm going regardless. And highlight and see on blue. I'm just gonna bring that sign that I retweet on Twitter. I'm on strike. Bring me girl groups. 
Just bring me girl groups. Do it. I need it. Bring me IOI merchandise so I can spend all my money on it. IOI merchandise? Bring me IOI! <laughs> well, yeah, but that's not gonna happen. But there might be a vendor who has an IOI's light stick, and I will pay lots of money for that. <laughs> We'll see, we'll Who see, has yeah. like legit like merch? Like we gotta, if they, well, they have a light stick. Worry about worry about Toronto K-pop con first, because that's in like three weeks. Two weeks yeah, already. but no one's gonna have an IOI light stick there. I'm, you'd be, I'm, I'm sure somebody's gonna have something there. Oh, people like, have stuff, but I don't think they'll have something like that. We'll see. Maybe I don't know. I'm wondering how big that that um, convention not, is. Uh, it's not gonna be very big. Probably I know it's not gonna be huge, but like, it's I probably gonna be thousand have. people. It's probably gonna be like a sh- one of the because I've been I've been to the convention center before. One, it's cold, so bring a jacket. Two, it's uh, gonna be in. It's not gonna be cold. There's like three oh. or four different like levels or whatever, and I think there's just they'll probably just use like the main convention center area. Or, or wait, and <laughs> Andrew, it's possible it might be like eighty that day though. No, like say, it, it's gonna be May. Yeah, but indoors it's pretty. It's like they, they blast the AC. Okay, whatever. I'll but just yeah, bring it. Yeah, like they, it'll probably just be like a convention floor, and then the you'll have to walk over to where the um the theater is. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm just really hyped for card now. That's what I have to do to block out Speaking my anger. Which, at KCON. <laughs> are we doing card cast episode two in Sunday morning? Oh, yeah, is, the, is, is the next, um... Hidden, the yeah, hidden version. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Midnight 11, KST. 11, uh, Sunday morning for us. Sunday morning, rain is falling. <laughs> so we're gonna be rocking out to Hidden Versions, hopefully. We'll see. Let's yeah. do it. If you haven't watched the card cast, uh, we'll put the link somewhere. It's our it's yeah. our new pride and joy. Card rumor <laughs> hidden version is a uh, Juicy Cat diss track. <laughs> spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. All right, let's, let's actually get into it now. All right, so yeah, um, I guess we can go to the uh, the actual uh, bread and butter of this uh, bread this and week. Brother. Bread and brother. Bread brother. and brother. <laughs> it's bed and brother. <laughs> bed and brother. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Let's just get into it. It's our usual mega topic. Uh, yep. Hopefully we don't freaking uh, make it go three hours. Okay, I, I, I timed it out that <laughs> at most, if we talk about everything for two minutes, the most this should go is an hour and forty minutes. I was gonna say this shouldn't this shouldn't be that bad. This is but not we said be that last time, and I mean Next this has you- this has like oh, this has fifty less songs than last week, and we're gonna talk about some of them less, so yeah. we should be fine. We should be fine. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so yeah, obviously it, uh, we didn't actually say, but this is our <laughs> monthly releases episode. Um, so we're starting with March 31st because that hadn't happened uh, before in the last week or last months. Um, first, we start with uh, B-Side by, like, the Idol... Ma- I don't, this is, like, a weirdly named, but basically Idol Master, like, B-Group uh, single, the Idol Master, and it's J-Pop. It's literally just J-pop with Korean words, like but the, that's because well, it's Idol Master. Okay, so the song is called, the group is called the Idol Master, and the song is yep. called the Idol Master. If that makes any <laughs> sense. Yeah, but, but then it's, it's the B side because there was a different one I think already, or something. I don't know. Well, I mean, okay, so it's confusing. how this. Okay, I'm probably gonna be the one guy in here that's probably gonna try to watch Idol Master because I no, actually, I, I never watch got Idol Master. I never got I'll to probably watch, watch it. it. Yeah, I mean, because one, it's available. It's got two on, members um, of the arc, of course. It's on Amazon Prime. It. Yeah, it's available on Amazon Prime, and then we'll be able to. So yeah, we will all be able to watch it, or you'll be able to watch it around the world. And most importantly, it's actually getting streamed, or it's actually getting television um, airing in Japan. So we'll have to see. Because again. The idol, the IMAS, as they call it, the the IMAS uh, fan base, they're very fickle and they're very protective of the Idol Master property. So we'll have to. Oh, see are they how, gonna? Are we'll they have gonna to like see it? How, yeah, I mean, like, because they're real girls. Well, I mean, yeah, we'll see. Well, that's just that, like, it's how they do this. Because again, this song was in the original game, and yeah, it's just a much different style as opposed to this where you think this is J-pop like the actual original version of um the idol master is just really J-pop like I'll switch to that video really quick yeah even even this is J-pop like it's very uh this is from the game right yeah this is from the game <laughs> yeah um it's it's just it's very not korean like it's very like it's 
something that will only come from Japan, I guess. Well, because I get yeah, like the the song is order or how they approach the song is very different because. Uh, in the original Idol Master game, you basically have like a bunch of like twenty or thirty idols that you can pick from, and from that you make subunits, which is why this is subunit is called B side, and then there's going to be another group of five. The other group of five or six is going to be the other subunit. So that's how. Next that's thing kinda... you know, we're gonna get Idol Master on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Yo, I I actually <laughs> but I've, with I've the Korean g- actual people version. <laughs> I yeah. imagine no, but I've actually been meaning to play, or I, I want to play the Idol Master game. But you need a Japanese 360, so I don't know how that's gonna happen. So, like, since you can pick, since you can pick like how whichever members you want, essentially it's just all group vocals in this version of the song, whereas opposed to the B side, the Korean version, it's just okay. It's the typical individual verse, individual verse, and then group vocals is in the chorus. But they actually have the same like choreography. But this is yeah. Um, I fig- I figure if it's already choreographed, why change it? Yeah, but like it. Yeah, save some money. <laughs> yeah, and appease the fans. Yeah, you, they're trying to like they're trying to appease the fans. Definitely, again, where, um, they're they're pretty much copying Idol Master beat for beat, where they have the producer that comes into this failing, failing like uh entertainment company, and you know that sort of thing, but. Mm, I think I like their first song better. They released the song called Dream back in 2016. That was with all of the members. And it, I guess it was more of a girly sort of song. But I think it that's kind of what I want out of this Idol Master. Not necessarily just like a rehash of like the Japanese Idol Master. But yeah, D- we'll see. Um, I have one question about the plot. Does the producer come from Japan? I'm not sure. I think maybe he's Korean. But like, obviously yeah, the producer is supposed to be like the... the, the or at least in the games that you were the producer because you're because the game is like half like yeah so he's ga- like the protagonist of the yeah drama. so it's like half rhythm game half raising simulator so basically okay you have to take them to practice you have to like put them in the groups you have to like train them and everything so yeah it's an interesting he's basically their their manager yeah um so or I, f- I forget if we I don't think we've mentioned any um mentioned uh Idol Master before but like st- at least. Two of the members, yeah. Two of the members were former Ark, right? Yeah, yep. yeah. We've met- we've talked <laughs> uh, about it before. Yeah, Su- okay, Su- Suji and Jay comes here. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much. All. I, I I like the song, but I think I'm pre- more partial to the original version, just because I don't know the auto tune on the on the Korean version kind of sounds weird. What did you guys think? Yeah, it it did fu- it did seem a little weird. Yeah, that's why. Well, that was the one thing that stuck out to me as Japanese is because they're more heavy on the auto tune than they are in yeah. Korea, I guess. Make it more mm-hmm. electronic sounding. So, yep. uh, same. Yeah. Um, next, we have Punchinello's digital single, Detox. Uh, it's hip hop. And I didn't have too much to say about it. He feel This is a live MV, or like he, he, he rapped it live, so. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I really like Punchinello actually. Though it could, it's also due to a bias because I'm I was gonna like, say it's high grind. That's yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, I actually though this song is not as good as the the uh, little like mini album he put out before, mm-hmm. in my opinion. But it's still all right. It's a little more trap focused in this than it usually is. I, but the title of the I song, did... or go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, I, like, I liked the second half better, where it like picks up a little bit. Um, but the fir- the first, like, half just seems like slow and lazy. If that makes sense. Or it's like. That's like trying to rap right now. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I think I told this before, but not on camera. But I think it's good. It's just it's w- it's very different <laughs> from his last album, Lime, where yep. it's kind of like R and B inspired hip hop, where this is just more straight trap. So I mean, it's good, but I was kind of I kind of wanted something different from him, especially since I I know like how how good he is. I just didn't want it to be like another like trap song. But I mean, it's it's yeah. fairly solid, and I mean, uh, like it's still it, 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 he's still pretty like his flow is still good throughout the entire song. Uh, well, I mean, he was pretty, in Ung freestyle, so that's yeah. how you know he has good flow. <laughs> yeah, like. It's produced well for for a trap song, especially. Also, I like the name. Yeah. He, he named it Detox after uh freaking uh the Doctor the Doctor Dre's album. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, he definitely. Yeah, like you this could, part 
where it picks up, I like more than yeah, the first I, half. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely like it uh, more in the second half. So, and just for reference guess, to like the people that are actually listening I was to say, it, they can't actually hear it. Like, yeah, we're not. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to get the. Yeah, we don't want to put music. I don't want to get it nuked off of YouTube, so I'm just gonna play. <laughs> or no, it'd be a pain. Well, especially play. since they're starting to strike people all of a yeah. sudden too. UMG. Mm-hmm. That's another day. Uh, topic for another day. But yeah, I. The only problem I have is it's just that it's more trap focused, and I feel like trap is just getting so old now, for me. Or it's just trap doesn't require as much. I don't want to. I don't. I don't mean this as disrespect, but trap is fairly easier, like a lot easier yeah. to do compared to something like uh, like an like an R and B or an R and B or like a more like intricately like produced sort of track where oh, it's started early. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I guess it's just yeah. I I, I kind of want to see like a like a higher level of production because like any kind of anyone can do a trap beat these days. It's just like it's, yeah. it's proliferated itself to where like almost every hip hop song this today is like trap. Well, that was one of the things I really liked about Punchinello is that he was using like EDM beats and stuff where yeah. everybody else is using trap. Like it's something that people don't really okay. their rappers aren't really doing yet. So yeah. that's one thing I liked I about him a lot. Liked that more mm-hmm. than this one. I also didn't like the rant. This is mostly a problem with it having uh, subtitles. I didn't like all the random ass noises. Because <laughs> like if if it didn't have subtitles, I wouldn't have noticed. But because it had subtitles, it just like I was like, why? You're just saying nonsense words. What the yeah 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 like in the <laughs> there was one there was one I wrote down, but I, I got rid of it. But it was a real bad. That's trap songs for you though. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like I, guess, I guess I like, just don't like scary. trap. Like, <laughs> I love trap. trap. I, I like trap is like one of my like guilty pleasures, just because it's so <laughs> it's so ridiculous at times. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> okay, we'll on move to on. the next song. Two, Red Velvet, the best. Would you Station, Station Two's uh, first first single? Is this first? Yeah, this was yeah. First. I'm pretty sure it came out uh, before or ten. Yeah, it did. Um... So this is just this is velvet red velvet like yep which makes me which is my favorite side of them which makes me worried because is velvet side of red velvet just gonna get relegated to station relegated to yeah probably that's 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 what I'm afraid of because again their last two popular like their last two singles rookie and um, Russian roulette like they were they were more like very red they're very very red or very like a mixer of the two so and those those do very well in Korea so. I don't know. We'll, yeah. we'll have to see. I hope not. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get Velvet singles very often. It's like a shame, though, because it's like, I always feel like Wendy's voice is going to waste sometimes. Yeah. Oh, wait, just <laughs> Even though little... I love, like, I love uh, Red Velvet's, all their songs. It's just <laughs> like, I, I love to hear her in, like, ballads and R&B mm-hmm. songs and stuff. Oh, wait, just a little like... touch. Oh, sorry. Just a little <laughs> well, I was just going to say. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So what I was going to say was, uh, like, I liked on the last album, Rookie, with uh, Magi Mak Sarang, uh, Last Love. Like, it was just a Wendy solo. That song was amazing. I, I want to get more of that, mm-hmm. but yeah. with, like, all the members together, I guess. Well, I mean, considering like, in this MV, it's literally just 100% Irene. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. It's literally where, just Irene. Where is around. everyone else? Yeah. Why? Why did? Why? Like I like how you paused it on like the worst screen possible. Okay, so what I was trying to point out <laughs> is like, this is, like it's kind of a, that's kind of that Asian motif where the the red string of fate where that's kind of like oh, a yeah, Korean yeah. and Japanese motif. Like Yarny. <laughs> oh, I don't think I don't, I don't think that's Video why game they made reference. I don't think that's why they made Yarny. But, Unraveled. Um, yeah, I mean I, I like this song because well, I'm. I think I've mentioned this before, but I like the Velvet side of Red Velvet m- more. Like, not, not, nothing wrong with the other songs, but I think I just like they're they're really suited. Yeah, you just prefer these, it. Yeah, I prefer it because they're they're probably one of the few groups that I prefer like ballad tracks or uh, like slower paced tracks to. Because um, like with these vocal again, Velvet song random Red fresh. Vel- Re- Velvet Red Velvet songs are just all the vocals are so serene and like beautiful and just like. They're one of the only groups that can pull that off or so well, to be completely honest. But yeah, why is it 100% Irene? Where is everyone else? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to assume they had Skechels or something. <laughs> so it's just literally... They called it a Red Velvet song, but it's literally just an Irene song almost. Uh, Irene MV, but yeah. 
Yeah. Um, can you find a pic? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. That I Who think that actor. I think he was in Goblin. He played the Emperor when he was a kid. Hmm. That's the only one. That's the only place I reckon I uh, recognize him from. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He played. He played uh, Wang Yo in uh, in Guardian or Goblin. Hmm. Well, there's a nice part Pretty- in the. There's a nice part during the bridge where there's a, like a there's modulation. Oh, I, I use the word, but or like there's a key use change. The, the magic word. Yeah. <laughs> Shout outs to uh, React to the K. <laughs> but yeah, like it's solid red velvet. I mean, I I just really hope velvet doesn't get relegated to this because it really should be on more of their songs. But again, I understand. I understand why they're doing it. I understand that it's it's a, it's a popularity and financial sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, next we'll move on to Boss's digital debut, Fly High, <laughs> which is horrible pop music. That is the genre. <sighs> horrible pop music. Oh, well, my so worst. Bad. To my begin worst. with, I didn't think it was bad. It's just like, when they start singing, I, like the vocals aren't the best. Okay, vocals so... Vocals aren't... Uh, it's just, yeah, like the it's rapping's so not horrible. So, <laughs> my worst nightmare has come true we have a filipino k-pop group or like they're trying to be they're trying to be like a k-pop the, style group yeah style they're not a k-pop like why why are they on this list again because they're uh, under aria creations so oh God. oh aria yeah. <laughs> i didn't realize they produced them so some of the vocals are really 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 yeah, they're not good really 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 bad bad also, the girl at the beginning speaking English has the worst Valley Girl accent ever. I think that's kind of what they're like. It <laughs> the, they're, like, no, it's on purpose. They're definitely doing it. Yeah, on they're purpose, doing it on purpose. And, but it's just it's so bad. Like they're trying to. It sounds like they're trying to do a sort of twenty-one four-minute sort of thing. Where like yeah. Well, what it what it, the rap sound like in the beginning? It sounded like Grace. If if you guys have listened to her songs, I haven't heard like, Grace stuff. The in a choreo while, is but. like look at the choreo. It's just kind of basic moves as well i mean i understand this is their debut song but oof. and also why are they doing this on a golf course and i was just about to yeah, say yeah. that why is <laughs> no, their music gonna, video filmed like, on a golf right here, course they could have an, an, an octagon MMA. they're gonna they're in an <laughs> mma cage for whatever reason and then i don't even get me started on the tagalog version of this song because the again these are all they're all part filipino or fil- full filipino so they speak in my native my um my country's native language of tagalog so this song is hundred percent sure. This song was written in English because the Tagalog sounds so poorly implemented, or like the li- yeah. and to be completely honest, some of them they're like I'm not one to speak because I can't speak Tagalog to like to save my life. But some of their Tagalog pronunciation is really bad, like really bad. They're so, probably in the same boat as you, Andrew. Well, because yeah, like one of them, <laughs> like they only know some of it. One of them is um, Jean. I think her name is. Um, is it the the her? Yeah, she's a halfy. She's she's part yeah, British. Yeah, that's so. what I figured. And to be she's honest, she's part what? She's part British, so. Oh, British. Okay. And to be completely honest, she's the only cute one in the group. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, maybe it's just because like really half half Filipino babies in any or half Filipino girls in anything just look really good for whatever reason. <laughs> but um, oh no, one of them. Their name is Annix, like A N N I X, like. That's that we might have to file that under like the worst stage name. It sounds like like they they named it after like getting annexed or something. Like they're like yeah, like, it, it was an E. They're trying to annex K pop. Yeah, yeah, and I mean it kind of sounds like they were. It kind of sounds like they're trying to imitate 2012 K pop, like tw- like 21 yeah, 21 badly, style, yeah. and it it makes sense because again that's 21's fairly popular in the Philippines because Dara so. But you know, I, mean, I honestly, I don't think the song is horrible. I think it's just the vocals are so yeah, lacking. Yeah, the, the song itself isn't fucking, like well, the song itself. They probably bad. could have remedied it with pr- like production, but I feel like they just didn't. Yeah. When I say the song is bad, I just mean yeah, the vocals are bad because that's mostly. The I mean, song. Like, like, yeah, the I, beats are okay. The song it's itself, kind of, like, the other, it the other problem is it's generic. Oh, you kind of cut out Nate. <laughs> I said the other problem is it's a generic. Oh whatever, <laughs> but yeah, like um, the song is the song itself is passable. It's just yeah, their vocals really didn't help the song whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You Pretty have to much. go back. You have to go back to the drawing board on this one, boss. I'm sorry. 
please. Beyond Sunset. Please, please, please okay. go back to the they, they got they got they got the K pop name, like the nonsensical acronym. <laughs> oh wait, wait, what did it stand for? Beyond Sunset. Where do you get boss out of Beyond Sunset? <laughs> be on. Oh be on be sunset. On sun- like, that's on even sunset. worse. What did that what does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> no Nobody idea. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative. Okay. Because her name is Boss. Like, come on. Okay, okay. Am I still cutting out? Or can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, good. Um, Okay, we're moving on. Next is Oh Yeri featuring uh, John Hyun Sung from Wait, what? Previously from Beast. Uh, I'm I'm naming all the songs. Okay, okay, okay. Even the ones we're not talking about. (laughs) Okay. But we're just going to... I'm just going to name them and we'll move on. So don't start the music video for some of them. Okay. Um... So yeah, next is Oyeri featuring Jung Hyun Sung from Beast. Uh, this is Love Digital Single. It's just a pop, a funky pop song. Uh, next is Sue Chefs featuring Kim Hyo Un, Nafia, and Jay Park. Uh, NWA, which does not stand for what you think it stands for, <laughs> is New yeah, Wave Attitude. New Wave Attitude. Yeah, it's a digital single. It sounds like an NWA song though, honestly. Yeah, wait, that, that, that's the stuff. Yeah, they definitely went for that vibe. It's, yeah, it's old school West Coast hip hop where um. It's just like from the beat to how they rap and everything, but it's probably not yeah. a good. I I understand what they're going for, but it's probably not a good idea to name your a Korean hip hop song NWA because yeah. it does yeah, not mean. Oh N yeah, Kore- the attitude. Korean riots and. Yeah, it's probably. That, not that, smart. That's actually an interesting aspect about it too, because the LA riots, freaking like Korean snipers on the roof. Anyway, I actually like the song. Right? It's just like <laughs> it's just like a really old school hip hop song, so I like it. It's it's good. I yeah, I download it. Yeah, like I didn't. I, I've never heard of sous chefs or whatever, but they have a cool. I saw a, this. I saw this floating around. I didn't realize Jay Park was in it until yeah, I same. checked it out today. But like they have a cool name because like sous chefs because they cook up wraps or whatever. I'm just like, yo, that's that's cool. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> but yeah, like they're, everything about this is very '90s retro, and yeah. yeah, this guy right here is the most NWA about it. Yeah. Like his flow, I guess it sounds like it. And, and yeah, Jay, Park, Jay Park, I think Jay Park raps in only or. Oh no, I thought he was. I thought his rap was entirely in English, but no, he just he switches into Korean. Uh no, you were thinking of the other song. Yeah, the other yeah, song. The other this month. Yeah, but you know, I like this song. Very good. Yeah, it's good. Up in like two songs. Um. Yeah, I didn't mind it. Uh, next is uh Mark, from the high school rapper final, uh, drop featuring Silgi. All you need to say is Sulgi and I'll be happy. So oh, wait, hold on, I just gotta skip skip that in the video because this yeah, song's actually like for as much for as much joking oh god it froze for as much joking as we have with Mark, like he's actually a really good rapper. Like he's actually really Yeah, he's solid. he's got a good flow. Yeah. Like and considering he's only seventeen, like imagine like if his Was like, that Tiger JK just a second ago? I think, I think so. he yeah, I think so. Yeah, because you Okay, because I just remember him saying he doesn't like rap competitions. <laughs> oh yeah, but you can see Don Mills rap's later not supposed as well. To, I'll look oh. it up. Yeah, because hip hop's not supposed to be about competition or something. But yeah, yeah, like for whatever reason. Oh wait, hold on. This there's this one girl in the crowd that's just completely losing her shit. Like oh, like, over Sulgi. <laughs> yeah, that, that's probably like, that's probably the funniest part where everyone's just losing their shit over Sulgi. Like this girl. Like if oh, like I don't know if you can see it. Like in like to, like Is right it? under the logo, <laughs> she's just making the ugliest crying face, which would be me <laughs> if I ever saw Sulgi in person. But yep. yeah, it says Tiger JK was on the final episode. And but yeah, interesting. No, like, I, I'm surprised that with the power of SM and Sulgi, because you know how popular Red Velvet is in Korea, he finished seventh. Yeah, I mean, they're the la- they're label mates so. though. Wait, no, yeah. he, f- he he finished last in the final. Mark did. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, yeah. The some other kid got uh, Hyodin. Hyodin, yeah, and with him. Hyodin yeah, was on one of them. No, but I really like the like the style of this song. It's kind of just like. It kind of has a bit of a like tropical vibe to it, like almost like a tropical house vibe to it, but uh, still has like the trap beat to it. But yeah. yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that they they let Mark go on this because well, one, they're not doing anything with NCTU much, or actually no, I mean he's in every every NCT group, so it's inevitable that they'll do NCT Mark. Actually no, like not even joking, I oh, can crap. actually. Apparently I can actually, Mark is younger than me. <laughs> yeah, he's seventeen. <laughs> I figured like, he's. It, like... It's a video. You know, I've. This guy's 17, and he got to do a song with Sulgi, six years his el- elder. That's that. That's quite the honor right there. 
<laughs> hey, we finally got an NCT Mark song. But like, not even joking. I could, I could see Mark. I could see Mark doing his own thing. I could, I could totally see him being a uh, like a solo rapper for SM. I mean, I know that's not really, I know that's not really their like mo, like to have like solo rappers or whatever. Honestly, it would help SM if they did. Yeah. Uh, like if they made like a rap More subunit of uh, of NCT or something like Taeyong and Mark or something like that, it'd be Cause awesome. Because be, Mark is kind of like the best parts of every NCT song. <laughs> At least his yeah, rap. Pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, like, like his, his rap yeah. in the Seven Sense was great. Yeah. So do, yeah, like no, that's that's my favorite rap of like all of the NCT songs, or like my favorite part of all the NCT songs. Just yeah. Because his English is really solid. So yeah. Well, the part where he goes, oh, and it's a long. Long ass ass rap. Yo, that's my favorite. That's my favorite <laughs> line. Just yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, hopefully he doesn't incur the wrath of, like, netizens because he's like, oh my god, he got to touch Solgi on stage or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd be fine. It, th- this happened at the beginning of the month, so. <laughs> but, you yeah, know, like, I, I love this song. I'm glad he I'm glad he was able to do the show. I just wish he did place higher. But, oh well, I mean, that's uh, not I a... I mean, he made it to the final, at Yeah, least. he made it to the final, so that's definitely still a good indicator of how well, how popular he is. So, yeah. Uh, next on the second, uh, Lee Moon Se and Huang Ju Myung, uh, fantastic duo, like, is a show, is doing, like, a bunch of things this month. So this is part They're, one. It's a, they actually so they actually are, like, re- like, doing, like, studio recordings, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what the name of the song is, because it's not even here, but it's a ballad. I, will, <laughs> I figured I it's fantastic it. duo. It's gonna be yeah. a ballad. Yeah. Um, next is J Park digital single raw shit produced <laughs> by dj Wigan. yeah he r- it, produces it, a lot hip-hop. of jay park stuff it's him and uh, it's jay kinda, park alone. it kind of sounds like, like a hip a mixtape track or... yeah yeah definitely it's very <laughs> very like this would be something hip-hop. you'd find like like on soundcloud i guess or like in his personal yeah. soundcloud that he, if he, I, I, actually let me check has jay park put anything on dat piff that jet dat piff is like the um it's like where all like famous like artists put their mixtapes on. So let me see. Oh, he calls I didn't realize K-pop that was a thing. <laughs> oh shoot! Yeah, it is. He says this. Sh- he, this he shit ain't for K-pop on. fans. Yeah, yeah, like I like that line. He's this ain't for K-pop fans. Yeah, the, no K-pop dance or no dance. Some, yeah, K- no K-pop there's no K-pop dance. dance. That's what the that's what the line is. I he obviously filmed this in Seattle because it looks like it's raining and you can see like the sea, the the needle. Yep. Space well, that's where yeah. he's from. So no, yeah, that's, he's, he's he's saying right. you know Seattle to Seoul. Um, I like the I like like the old school like four by three aspect ratio and like the VHS effects and yeah VHS oh, effects and stuff. A yeah. lot of what he's wearing is just really like nineties old school streetwear. Like this this jacket that yep. he has on right now, just really yeah, like just old like, school. I, I always like J Park always kills it when it uh in terms of like his wardrobe for music videos. <laughs> So yeah, this is just a really, really like old school like R and B type song. Yeah, the CN Tower. Yep. CN Tower. No, that's the, that's in Toronto. You're talking about like the space. Whatever. Theater. It's the same exact thing. Oh yeah, there, there was a there's like a like a bit of a tempo change towards the end of the song, which is interesting. Again, like oh, you find that a lot in like old school '90s or um, hip hop songs as well. You you can tell he's definitely going for that sort of like motif for yeah, style. Yeah, like, again, I, I like this from J Park. I know it's not it's yeah. not as popular as his more like. Justin Bieber, Chris Brown type songs like me His like R&B. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I just I like I like him putting this out because it shows that how good how good of a rapper he is first and foremost. I like that he does both. I'd yeah. like to see him do a song where he raps like really hard like this and then he sings the hook. I think so like a, cool. like a Drake song. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Ironic since yeah. he called out Drake or whatever, but yeah, no solid. <laughs> I think yeah, solid Jake Parker song. No, pretty good. Okay. It's uh, like Jay Park comes out with an album. You know how Drake had the CN Tower in it? Jay Park was one. Yo, <laughs> it's an album with that. the Space you Tower Needle. That. That'd actually be really good. <laughs> That'd actually be funny. Next is uh, Oh My Girl's new mini album, Coloring Book, which is, it's Oh My Girl. It's, it's girl group pop. It's yeah. what you'd expect. And, well, girl, uh, <laughs> Oh My Girl is like it's way sweeter than anything. Except for their best song. Uh, yeah, except I, for closer. Blanky on the name, yeah, close, yeah. Closer they haven't so topped. They, I don't think they'll really? ever top that song. Really, I'm a, I don't know. Actually, don't know what my favorite song is from Oh My Girl. Oh, I'm probably, is easily. I'm probably favorite. the biggest. I'm probably Same. the biggest Oh My Girl stand in between all of us. 
Um, yeah, for sure. I don't follow them that much, to be honest. I, I just I follow, watch their like, music videos. I have their videos. music, but yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not super follow. Like, I don't super follow them. Well, I, so, are like, those eggs? I know yeah, a couple of their names. I know, I know Jiho and, Mi- and Binny. That's it. Jiho, Binny, Yua. Um, oh, I don't know all of them, but Binny's probably it's my something, bias. Something Jung is Dude, the girl that I this like. MV, I like. This MV looks like yeah, it's I really like fun. It's really fun to film. And also, like, I like how they're in the completely white room, no color. With white, they, like, freaking, like, French made outfits. Or when it gets to the choreography part, um, the, the song itself is like a type of, like, swing vibe to it. And yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of their, like, their, their dresses, oh, I could just skip ahead, but. Alright, if I can find it. <laughs> the part where she was going up on the, the balloons, that was so cheesy. Yeah, but, like,. Yeah. If you notice, if you look at the choreo and what they're wearing, it's like really like swing style, like old school retro clothing and like the, the choreography as well. So yeah, I really like this. And I think for whatever reason, I'm just really partial to Oh My Girl whenever they do like group vocals because it just sounds really like cutesy, like, hey, hey, like that sort of like sort of thing. But I like it. I, 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 I'm, I, I need to see them live. Like if there was ever a KCON where they came here, oh God, I'd be, I'd be done. Keep I'd be all completely over that. done. Yes. <laughs> Dude, yeah, they, I, that's like me with G Friend and Twice. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know who I like better though between the two. That'll I, be a debate for another day. Uh, though. We'll, we'll see. I don't point. know. I, I don't think know. I lean towards Twice, but it's tough. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, oh and, my girl, I, I like them. I like their music. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I same. This song. And I don't. This is a preliminary opinion. I actually might like this better than Windy Day. And I know how popular Windy Day was, but. I think yeah, I yeah, Windy I just, Day was really popular. I know. I, think I, I just still like I still contend for Closer. Oh, Closer is my favorite. Easily, <laughs> I still listen to that song. Yeah, Closer is their best song in my opinion. Yeah, good. Um, I love Oh My Girl. Random Dolphin. Okay. At the uh, end. N- next, we have on the fourth, we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, Geary Boys five songs for Initiation. Uh, High Speed. It's a mini album. High wait, Speed's that, a single. Wait, that says Giddy Boy? I thought that said Girl yeah, Boy. Giddy. No, G I O. No, Giddy Boy. Yo, Giddy. You never heard of him? I was so confused the whole time. I was just like, why is this person named Girl Boy? Um, no. <laughs> also, on the fourth, we have I. Giddy Boy is a pretty popular rapper. Inix. Oh, it was Inix. Sorry, because I looked at the Korean. I remember. Uh, digital single together. Uh, it's a guy group EDM song. It starts with some like sweet house beats, though. I, I liked that. Um, we have So Yi from Goo Goo Don and Young Jun from Brown Eyed Soul digital single Spring Rain. It's a duet ballad. And finally, on the fourth, we have Winner's single album, Fate Number 4, with really, really, releasing really, both Really, Really, really and Fool, <laughs> um, which it's Winner's Dude, those Guy Group. both album. really great songs. Yeah, this, this is my first, like, introduction to Winner. Oh, so. dude, check or, out their no, old stuff. It's yeah, really good. I have some of their older stuff on my Spotify. But, but I like I liked it, so. Yeah, I'll so the one I'm playing... Check out their other stuff. The one I'm playing right now is Really, Really. Um, yeah, this yeah. is, like, a really... <laughs> not the Really, one Really... It's a, it's this is a, a lot more poppy than their previous music. Yeah, it's a, okay. it's like a dance hall type card almost type song. Um, yeah. There's just like random like girls that start dancing with them in the music video or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, yeah I like, think right they're here. in the United States or Europe or something. Yeah, maybe because there's just like a lot of like American. Well, because they're none of them are Asian. They're yeah, all none like. Of them are Asian, so. They're all either like black, Hispanic, or is white. This, like, is it like Las Vegas or something? Or I don't know. It just looks like a whole like, I, I, fancy hotel. I mean, they're wearing tuxedos, so I wouldn't doubt it. And that's a really big building. But yeah, no, this is re- it's a really catchy song. Like, God, I, I hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. Oh, this yeah, song. I listen to it, like, probably once a day right now. I Another group, another guy group that I'd love to see live. Yeah, Winner, that'd be great if, if they were at KCON. I wouldn't they, mind if, them, actually. If YG ever lets them, like, leave the dungeon. I was going to say, YG, YG <laughs> ever lets them leave the dungeon. Ever lets them leave the dungeon. Except for GD that first year. <sighs> Because, well, I mean, it's CJ's, it's CJ's are quote-unquote rivals. I was going to say, yeah, so. it's, it's CJ. He, he, he doesn't... That. He doesn't let him go to go to KCON unless Missy Elliott's there to collab. Well, I mean, the, the, the stupid the thing is, is like you're caught up between a rock and a hard place. You don't want to go to KCON, which is already established, and yet he doesn't want to. YG doesn't want to establish. Okay, we're touring in the U.S. for them, something like that. So I mean, you know, like either either let KCON do it or do it yourself. So I mean, yeah. Well, well I mean, KCON's not I mean, a tour, though. It's just, it <laughs> yeah, but I, but still, it's just like. If you don't want to deal with the logistics of having to like make a like a, 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 a special like concert or like dealing with like booking the venues and everything, um, so yeah, now I'm playing the other song, which is "Fool." 
I don't know. I guess what I was saying was like, well, KCON does it for you. All you have to do is show up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if it's if it's really so, that much of a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the I second song, Fool. Yep. Which is I really like this one too. <laughs> it yeah, it's, it's bad, but it's a good. It kind of reminds you of a Big yeah, Bang I mean, ballad. It's, it's like bad. a Big Bang ballad. Yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. blue or. Last I don't dance, understand right? the MV though, or just like kind of random, or like the. Like the I haven't actually seen the MV. I've only listened to the song. But like, it's just right. Like, what? Like, the members randomly taking pictures of this girl or whatever. It's like I don't know. Maybe they're like a, I don't know. Because maybe it's like their other like emo, like because Winter seems to do a lot of the emo songs from between like Winter and Icon. Um, but yeah, it's just like them. Or it's just like him, like 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 on a motorcycle or something. Which I don't know. I don't. I don't understand the music video, but I like this song. But yeah. Uh, this song reminded me of uh one of their previous songs, Baby Baby. So yeah, but yeah, it's really solid from winter, and yeah. hopefully, hopefully. Wait, is this a similar location that they filmed "I Need You" in? I don't know. Because that gas station looked like the one from the music video, and then they <laughs> went in that tunnel where they pull up with an F one hundred and fifty. Yeah, just like, they do. <laughs> it's just like yeah, let's just save on money, or just like well, why do we have to location scout when you can just use one that they've already used before? Well, BTS. Well, we're is yeah, BTS. Yeah, I know, yeah, but uh, like. It's probably a place in Korea. Maybe. Yeah, it's... But yeah. I don't know. It was good. Okay, uh, next on the 5th, uh, we had A-Seed's debut digital single, uh, uh, Hun- Hundula. It's, Everything's they're, fire. they're a group like Leisha and Switch, so they don't need... A-Seed they don't is need a Felicity. horrible, horrible group name. Like, which yeah, are... the name's horrible. Their fan cams are just super overly sexualized, so if that's what... Do they have millions of views? them up. Probably. Well, no, they're new. <laughs> like, what would, what would Alicia and what Switch would give millions of views on what their would fan um, What would their, uh, whatchamacallit? A-Seed. What would their, gr- like, fan club name be? Like, I don't know. AIDS. Sprout. A-Seed? Like, eggs? <laughs> AIDS. Like, no, that's taken. impregnating people <laughs> yeah, or something? <laughs> like, planting A-Seed? I don't know. Plants? We're don't moving know. on. Because next is Dreamcatcher. <laughs> single album. Yes. Fall asleep in the mirror. Good night. And it's awesome, just like their first it's song. It's so good. Well, their first three debut song. Like, this it's song so is very, 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 very anime OP-ish. Like, yeah, yeah, see- but it's 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 so it's, good, though. The guitar in yeah, this song really is even is. better than uh, Chase Me. Yeah, Chase Me. Yeah, this is this one's harder than Chase Me. Yeah, much. It's much it's harder. Awesome. Like this, it, it it almost ventures into like a like, gothic pop, like metal ish type of vibe. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's getting into symphonic metal, which was like which was all I listened to before K pop. <laughs> so, so like or like or like I or I don't it. know, like maybe something or like weird it's not as weird as like Nightwish or whatever, but it kinda gives me a Nightwish vibe. Yeah, it's starting to get into that territory. So if they keep going, eventually we'll literally just have a symphonic like gothic metal band. I, I hope they keep up this style because it's great. Yeah. Well I mean and no it's it's what we're seeing like, girlfriend. Did you see that article? Um did you see that article that like the they met with the, the prin- yeah, like a princess, princess of Thailand or something? Yeah. And she's like a huge stan of Dr- of Dreamcatcher or something. Yep. She's just yeah. like when Jeez. you have ro- you know you're doing something right when royalty starts standing your group. A Thai yeah, that, princess. That was on R R K pop the, this morning. The, some Thai princess. Uh, Wait, who's the, is this guy like a famous Dreamcatcher. actor or something? Um, I'm not uh, sure. I'd assume so. He's pretty yeah, good looking. Are so they just going to keep so torturing he, him in every music video? Because I feel yeah, bad. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, there are people who are interpreting this as either a prequel or a sequel. And if you, depending on which order you uh, interpret it as, they are either like torturing him or he like did something to them and they're getting back at him. What can I yeah, do? Yeah, like he murdered them. Who do I have to call to be tortured by Dreamcatcher? Him back. <laughs> if that's what you're into, Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> just asking oh, for a friend. Eventually we'll have uh, an unboxing up of this too because I bought it and it showed up, so I gotta film that. But yeah. Cool. Do they wait? Um, do they do? Do they do live shows or? They do yeah. uh, music shows yeah, every they do week. Music shows. Yeah. They don't which, have a band. They need a band. Them, they need a band. Which makes back. me sad. Yo, if they go on Sketchbook, I hope they get like the live oh, band. Oh, well, yeah, definitely on Sketchbook they would. Or no, when you yeah, well when sometimes he's back and track back on that show. If you see them Usually live, they have live. If you ever, if we ever have a chance, knock on wood, to see them live, we need they need there needs to be a mosh pit. There needs to be a mosh pit in front. <laughs> With just push year old girls. <laughs> thirteen year old girls like freaking just Moshing. fighting each other in the crowd. Uh. Yep, it's so good. 
Uh, next, also on the fifth, is Flow Six Day One, digital singular single. I really featuring like this. Day guns. Day guns. Yeah, I I just I'm assuming his name is Day Guns. It's it's hip hop because it's Flow Six. And his flow is sick. Yeah, no, like not not, not even sick. joking. Like he has really good flow. Like this kind of reminds me of an Eminem song with how fast he can like spit bars. Yeah, yeah. he's so like good. Eminem with like with down like an octave. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah has, exactly. His voice really, is so deep. It's awesome. Yeah, it's such a unique voice, especially when it comes to like Asians, because you don't really hear that many Asians with that deep of a voice. Yeah. Like again, like, you know deep. his flow is sick if he's on Ung Freestyle. Mm. And well, like, uh, it's funny that like, you compared ex- him to Eminem because yesterday I kept watching his uh, cover of Rap God. Yo, oh, he yeah, did a cover of Rap too. God? Yeah, yeah it was pretty it's good. Yo, it's on YouTube channel. Apparently, he finished before Eminem did. Yeah, Damn. so um, one thing... Uh, what was I saying? It made me lose my train of thought, man. Eminem, <laughs> one thing. No, it, was, it wasn't Eminem. I brought up Eminem. No, it's something else I was going to say about him. Oh, yeah. All right. I guess there's another a diff, a different thing, but I, I hope he puts out like an album or something soon because I would Does love he to hear him. So far? Yeah, he just r- releases singles every once in a while. Like, I think recently he did one for Overwatch. Yeah, he, well, Overwatch? yeah, he did one for Overwatch a while ago. Like I didn't know if Overwatch? it was this year or last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah game. Th- it was like, it was like right around not that long after it came out, I think. And they just yeah, it was like a. Year, a so. ad. That's amazing. It, it, yeah, it this was like is in the uh, this is day guns, by the way, in the video. That's not flow sick. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, because they have a similar hairstyle. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Wait, no, I liked it, and he has a different voice of it. But this this verse yeah. was pretty good too. And also, I like the the beat or like the the back backing track to this is really good. This is this is the kind of trap music I really like. Yeah, this I actually yeah, like. Yeah, same. Well, his rap is good though. That, that's why yeah. like yeah. it redeems it for for me. And no, he and like because he he actually can flow for days. And no, like ninety percent of the song is English too. Why, Jacob? Why? Yeah. What? The song is named Day. Oh I yeah. Making a point. Right. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Flowsick did that a lot in Show Me the Money. He would do like half of the rap in English because he's uh he's from New York, so. That's like his native language. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's a New York rap. Even so even in Ung Freestyle, I think he did most of his rap in English. You get, people just couldn't tell because he's rapping so fast. Yeah. And you're used to everybody else rapping in Korean. Speaking of really good rappers, uh, next is Geiko featuring Rap Monster. Dog knows. Uh, Gaja. The digital single. So this really th- is it. Is really it Gaja or is it Kaja? Like, let's I don't go. Know. I didn't look at the Korean. What's the Korean say? Yo. It's Kaja. Oh, wait, no. It's actually Ko- Kogi Lee. It's Kogi Lee? the Korean name. So, so wait, why is, it, why is it different in English? That happens a lot. A lot Kogi of Korean Lee. Yeah, like, song but, names are Yeah, Kaja different. means let's go in Korean, so yeah. I don't know. Because, like, uh, Gaja. Rough by G Friend is running through Shigane time Dalia in Korean. Song. Yeah, Shigane Dalia saw. So, yeah, so, well, I don't know what this animator was on. I don't know what drugs he was oh, on. Yeah. I, I love yeah, this style, though, so by the way. But no, like, this song really reminds me of, like, Gorillaz, where it's just ridiculously yep. weird and just, like, really, yep. like, crappy mid-2000s animation style. And it's, Yeah, but it's, if you look at the environments, the environments are really good, but they yeah, purposely like made the characters, like, shitty looking. Yeah, like, <laughs> I love I love this exactly. style of music video. Yeah, and no, like, it, I've always said if I would make a music video, this is probably what it would look like. I don't know why ha- what anything has to do with dentists or like getting your teeth removed or whatever, but and it's like, like freaking, he's carrying a freaking dump like barbell with his teeth or whatever. But no. there's Rap- a guy who can tow an airplane with his tongue. No way, no way. Yeah, no, I've no seen it. He's in Guinness Book of World Records. You'd, you'd re- he'd rip his tongue off, I'm sure. No, he hooked it to his tongue and it was he was pulling a plane. No, no, that's gonna end so bad. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was bad. We well, actually, he did it, so it wasn't bad. But yeah, Ratmon's Ratmon's verse is really good in this. I love it. Ratmon's voice verse is always good. Even always even rips. even the backing or like the the like the instrumental for this sounds so much like a like a Gorillaz track. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it really is just like a Gorilla song. Um I wonder if they got any like um you know, influence from it like, you know, like Clint Eastwood or something like that. Yeah, they, 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 they kinda, it's it's almost like a Clint Eastwood type song or like or like a lot the of rap style. Or like how off of like Demon Days, where 
they had like really weird artistic like animated music videos for most of their uh, yeah yeah for most of it where it's like 3D animation whereas the first album the first the Gorillaz album was just 2D animation for the most part yeah see so, yeah, this almost reminds yeah. me of that so yeah I uh, you can definitely there definitely is a, like a bit of a Gorillaz influence in this and this creeps me or by the rem- way I gotta I gotta take a moment to shout out Gorillaz I can't wait for your album yeah definitely. This uh, this like hand freaking foot thing kind of reminds me of the the things from freaking Spy Kids. Or oh, Spy Kids, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, like their head is a toe. Yeah, the, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, the, the with thumb, floop, the thumb things or whatever. Yeah, yeah, there were there were hands with all thumbs. Like I'm sure they, they were probably on the same drugs that this the, this animator was on when they were making Spy Kids. Those movies. Oh, are Spy weird. Kids is a crazy drug trip. Yeah, <laughs> I have to look at the freaking lyrics to see what this has to do with teeth. I don't know, but oh shit, <laughs> talking mushroom, talking mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. The beginning, the way Geiko raps at the beginning reminds me a lot of Drunken Tiger, which was sweet. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, too. yeah. Like Tiger. Well, Tiger. he's they're, they're uh, he's influenced they're, by yeah, them because yeah. Tiger JK was like the. He's called the godfather of Korean hip hop, so yeah, yeah, not for nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Geiko is one of the most like um, you know veteran, uh, you know rappers hip-hop. in the game. So yeah. I, I thought it was really cool to see him collaborate with Rap Monster. Yeah, who's one of I guess newcomers. Yep. Uh, still in the fifth, we got uh, Hong Dae Kwang's mini album and you, the single "Fall in Love." It's a ballad. It's bad. Uh, yep. Infacts, uh, Infactory Project single, their monthly single thing, Tension Up. It's Guy Group Pop. Uh, My Name released a tension Japanese up. single album. Huh? It's just reminding me that Up Tension was a group oh, that was announced. <laughs> God damn it. Um, My Name's Japanese single album. Uh, I, looked up, I had to look up the name. It's a Love Encounter in Japanese. Uh, it's also a ballad. And finally, uh, we have Taeon. Repackaged full length, my voice deluxe. Yeah, get that op tension out of make here. Make me love you, boy. <laughs> and it's Taeon. Yeah, don't say that. You're gonna piss it's off some op tension so fans. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Taeon is more important. So good. Um, it is. Like, Dude, ten out of ten album. And the the to, deluxe edition made it better for me. It, although it just pisses me off because I can't, like I don't know what I'm gonna do on iTunes because I bought the normal album. Just buy it again. Just buy it again. Yeah, yeah, just buy, buy it again. It's worth. Again. It's worth it. Um, I could just buy the sing- this new yeah, song. Yeah, buy the CD. Yeah, just buy the CD it. again. Whatever. So yeah, this is just more <laughs> mid-2000s pop from Taeyeon. So again, much in line with her other songs. But I think in terms There's of... There's a lot of English in the song. Yeah, the entire chorus Yeah, the chorus whole chorus is English. Is English. But yep. it, uh, at least for me, I kind of preferred um, Fine more to this song. Because, I don't know, it just... I like Make Me Love You more. Really? really? It just okay. fits my It just fits my style more. I love the music video, but what I the hell is... Decide. What the hell is up with her sleeves? She has like, she has like that's like really like old school like medieval style. Like she has like a freaking pom pom oh, yeah. as her sleeves. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, just really weird cheerleader um, sleeves. Yeah, just really <laughs> yeah, weird, like the weird uh, pom pom things. Yeah, stylistic choices. I don't know which I like better. Yeah, that's so a tough it's like choice. a completely different material than the other, like part I'll of the clothing. I just say I like I got love better, so then we all all three have all picked. All three <laughs> yeah, we picked one of three title tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. It's so good. Though. That They're means I'm good. the deluxe the whole member. It's just so good. <laughs> I, there's nothing more to say. It's just great. But let's just sit and if here you and, listen and if to you the don't buy the, the that the users can't hear. Yeah, the users. Oh yeah, we, we've decided you guys are called users because I just yep. I fight for the, the users. Anyway. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. And Stay yeah. So uh, yeah. Oh, next, by the way, tweet uh, at KCON USA <laughs> and tell them that you're mad that Taeyeon's not coming to KCON New York. Yeah, you tease Taeyeon. Yeah, you tease Taeyeon by saying Nell and a thumbs up. Like, come on, it's Nell because she covered a Nell song and thumbs on up means fine. On the KCON hints, like, come on. Okay. You can't do that to me. Uh, on the sixth, we have uh, Babylon's single album SSFW. Uh, the single is Ocean Drive featuring Sonny. NSFW. It's, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I love. The I love his. I love that hoodie that he's wearing, the red one. Yeah, like the red, like the lower hoodie ish. Yeah, I would totally wear that. <laughs> you get a whole West Coast vibe from this song. We obviously they filmed this in LA, <laughs> but yeah, 
Yeah, it's like a really like West Coast R and B type song. I love it. I've been I've been listening to it on repeat for the past couple of days. Love yeah, the vocals. I love like the beats like or the beats really simple, but like like the the. I guess the basis of it is just like the vocalization, like the ooh, like throughout the whole song, and it's so good. Yeah, I saw that it was Babylon, and I'm like, this is actually exactly what I expected from it. Actually, this is the so. first time, I think this is the first time I've ever really looked up any of his music, but no, I definitely have to go back and listen to more of this, because it's so good. Yeah, cool. uh, if you know um, Zico's uh, You Are You and I Am Me or whatever, or no, You Are Me and I Am You, whatever it's called, <laughs> or no, 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 it's Boys and Girls that it was on. Yeah, Babylon was on a Zico track. I think okay. it was Boys and Girls. Now that I think about it. So yeah. But yeah, his his I love his falsetto as well. Just like during, like the intermittent falsetto. Just yeah, like really solid like Korean R and B. Like everything I want out of like R and B songs. And yeah, the music video is pretty cool too. They're just like following the couple or whatever. But yeah. towards the end, it just starts getting really like risque or whatever. They just start freaking making out out of nowhere. I'm <laughs> just like whoa. Yeah. They're not showing. I don't know if they're gonna show this on MTV or whatever. But no, I love I, I love the the vibe of this song. Just really. And then they're just randomly in the desert now too. I love I love the outfits in this uh, music video too. Just like like even like the the actors and um with Babylon in his outfit as well. But yeah, really solid. It's probably one of my favorite songs that came out this month. Okay, yeah. I have a question. How what? close is LA to the desert? Like, can you literally just walk to the desert? No, probably. no. Well, you probably could, not walk. You have to, the closest would but. probably be Death Valley, but you could probably... It's, it's still a couple of hours drive, so... Yeah, because they literally just showed up at the desert, now they're at the beach. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> magic. K-pop music video magic. Um, Next is on the 6th. What do we have to get on the 6th? Every day 6th. Every day six. Every day. Day six. six. I'm serious. Their project single for this month. And it's day six pop rock and it's great. This is like the most like poppy that they've released so far. Yeah, it's not as it's obviously not as like J Rock or hard as the other songs. But it'd be funny yeah. if they were still if they were still six members, they wouldn't fit in the Jeep. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'm sorry, we need to, to film a Jeep guy. music video. <laughs> they just scrapped the other guy to the top. Yeah, Instead of the spare tire, he just gets he just gets there. He just, he's just he's got a backpack back, on and he's just like to the back. hanging for life. <laughs> but yeah, this song is more alt rock, pop rock ish as opposed to the other yeah. songs, which are more J rock or like yeah, like um like yeah, that's more that's just sort of like vibe. straight rock. Yep. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I still yeah, I still I can't too. wait for like the full album to come out so I can actually buy it and not pay like five four hundred dollars for each single off of eBay. Oh well, I get them for free anyway, so. I mean, it'll probably be about the same price. No, like, no, like well, the actual CDs. Oh. Oh. CD. Wait, you. Okay. Oh yeah, you can get those. I forgot. Yeah. Our to, secret. Uh, our secret. Our eBay secret seller. supplier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We can't. We can't give away our secrets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no, all you literally thing, have to do is just. If there's one thing I have to say about this song. K-pop or eBay K-pop. Yeah, them. just like we can't. We can't reveal our sources, but. Um, oh. with this song, I really need. Or I really wish JYP would promote them here in America because this sort of vibe would fill the hole that One Direction left because they're on hiatus. Like this, like this type of this type of music would probably fit do really well in America or like even like the J Rock type of vibe. So yeah, I think I just has been a, th- a thing I've been saying where J- JYP needs to like promote more of his artists here in America, like with Twice and now with. Uh, well, six. I think he's working on it. He's got please, a scheme. Yeah. Come sooner, yeah, he's, please. JYP is definitely a schemer. <laughs> he's got his world domination scheme going. We'll we'll get an American group like I mean, five twice years from obviously now. had to go to Japan next because they're just <clears throat> gonna explode in Japan. Well, well, they're they're perfect for Japan. Twice exactly. Is. They got oh, I love this a third giant of their members dog. Of Japanese. Like, this giant derpy they, looking dog. They're the happy, cute girl group stuff. Yep. And I mean, there's yeah. with twice they have Japanese members already, so yeah, they a third of their members are Japanese. So, man, I'm excited. In one week we get another day six single. That's true. We're about to get another one. Oh, word, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Next, uh, we got a bunch more on the sixth. Uh, we have a uh, Hong Jin Young song feat with uh, Daya and Kim Yeon Ja, uh, pre-release single. You are my flower. That's Trot. Which is yep. it's kind of cool Jin to hear so. Daya do like trot, the fact that they can. Um, we have Kim Hyung Jun's uh, from 
Is it from? Is he from Double S three hundred one? I don't know where that is. I don't, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know any yeah, of it's stuff. A, it's a subgroup of Double S five hundred one. Okay, uh, so there's a repackaged mini album, AM to PM seven five eleven three, single seven o'clock. I don't know. It's R and B. That's a really complicated title. Um, and then we have Oak Doll's digital single, uh, Monday th- Monday Friday. Uh, the title track is Intern Love Advice. This was kind of cool. I actually didn't mark it to write to talk about, but it's folk pop. It's a lot like Bubblegum. Bubblegum. Sa. Bubblegum. Bullpagan. Bullpagan. I don't know. I see it with P's and B's. Bullpagan puberty. <laughs> but it, they, it's a lot like that. It's two girls and it's like folk pop indie folk type stuff. So yep. it was pretty cool. I liked it. <clears throat> Uh, on the seventh, we have Black Six Six. It's Black Six, but <laughs> Black Six uh, Six debut six. digital. I always call him Black Six Six because it's funny. Black uh, six, debut six. digital single, please. Uh, it's a guy group song. It's really piano and string heavy. It sounds like beast. Uh, reminds me a lot of fiction. Yeah, it's. it's I think really it sounds beast. like an infinite song to me. Oh, no, really, no. I hear I hear fiction. Yeah, like, no, I hear fiction, especially with the, the piano song. in the background. Yeah, exactly. With the, I the think for like when the chorus influence. comes in, it doesn't really sound like. A B song to me, like I can I can see it like with the, uh, like the lyrics the like this right here going in, yeah. But yeah. The, like the the chorus and the choreography, like they're all doing the same exact dance move. It reminds mm-hmm. me of Infinite. Either way, it's it reminds us of like golden era guy group. Yep. Have you heard of their Have you heard like of their Beast entertainment company Infinite. before? Black Hole Entertainment. I have no, not. not. Yeah, I tried to look Is, them up. I couldn't find anything, but. This is really well produced for some yeah, company I've really never heard of. Debut. Like, the, the music video is definitely the like video is good. looks like 20, 2013 K-pop, good. I think. Yeah. The vocals are really good. Like they're very refined for a, like a new goo, like new group. Yeah, this the MV looks like like an SM MV from back when they used to use the box sets. Yeah, this yeah. is a box Which, set essentially, because it's just them yeah. going in a circle. <laughs> it's so yeah. funny. Everybody used to hate those box sets, and now I kind of miss them. Well, because oh, it's love nostalgia. The box sets. That's why I was so happy when the shampoo commercial got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Freaking uh, <laughs> secret. Station single. No, yeah, this song's really good. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to looking I can I can stuff. see them, if they keep this level of like music, I can see them being popular in America. 100%. They're probably going to be like a... Western, Western K-pop fans love this sort of thing, so... Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what happened to BTS. BTS had a sim- similar... Uh, um, What's it called? Production values. These guys did prior to them, like blowing up in Korea. So I could see it. Yep. Uh, next on the seventh, still we have IU featuring Oh Hyuk's uh, pre-release single "Can't Love You I Anymore." Just, I just love Oh Hyuk and Hyukko. It's so. R&B <laughs> duet. It's so good though. Thing. Like, it's really good. I mean, yeah. when, when Oh Hyuk, I know, oh, but when Oh Hyuk comes in, it's like my favorite part of the song. They're, his voice is so smooth. Their voices are both so smooth, and I couldn't believe that I couldn't, I didn't hear a song from them like until now. Before, like, yeah. Really, yeah. Their voices go so well together, like they, or like actually, they, honestly, Ohyuk, his voice is like a male IU's voice. Yeah, like, I can see honestly. that yeah, in a way. Like if she were a guy, that's yeah, what she yeah, sound definitely. like. And I need, I like, I love IU's R and B songs. I love it. Well, like, kind of a spoiler for later, but like. I love this song so much, and like uh, it's uh, the lyrics are kind of sad-ish or whatever, because obviously the song is "Can't Love You Anymore," but yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Or it's like trying to force yourself to love someone that you don't love anymore, or like they, it's just like, oh, I'm trying to hug you or kiss, trade lock lips with you. Or the lyrics say so. It's it's interesting. I like the bluesy mm-hmm. guitar riffs that are kind of like find their so their way into the song um intermittently or there's a part during the bridge where they go back and forth and trade lyrics and then they come together and do like the like a harmonizing thing so yeah they're they're really they're really good like uh they're really good uh vocally or they match very well yeah um next we have uh ravi from vix uh actually dropped a mixtape apparently uh, with the song Lucid Dream. I'm surprised you got Microdot to uh, collab with them. Yeah, featuring Microdot. Yeah, it's pretty it's cool. Hip-hop. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it was, it was all right. It's cool to see a idol drop a mixtape. Yeah. Um, and then next is a song I instantly looked up. Like, Say Yes, uh, digital single, I Miss You. It's 
rock. It's a rock. It has like a slow piano intro. It's, I instantly looked up this group and I was like, this, yeah, this is really, really good. It's a rock I, power ballad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And the drummer has like, if I can skip ahead, the drummer has something. Yeah, he has the blue hair. hair. He has yeah. like blue dreads. Yeah, they a couple of like yeah, the guy with the long hair, he looks like she's like straight out of like an anime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love this song. It's it's kinda sounds like eighties power ballad rock songs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I I instantly like, like went like, on iTunes, I was like, do they have stuff on iTunes? Because I wanna buy it. Like like meatloaf style yeah. like, that sort of thing. I love it. Or like I love two, how they have like dueling but, guitar solos and everything yep. and oh god, it's so good. Yeah, they have two EPs on iTunes, I think. Two or three. But Sweet. So you, um, have you heard anything from this crew beforehand? Because I never did. No, either. this is the first time I've heard. I of had them. neither. Um, so I, yeah, I, 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 was, I think I've I think I've heard of their name. I just never clicked yeah, on any I, of their I agree. I, I think the name sounded familiar, but yeah, I've never seen any music from them or heard any music from them. But yeah, this song is really good. So yeah, definitely check definitely. it out if you like rock, power ballad type stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and finally, on the seventh, we have Tens Station from NCT uh, Station Two. Dream in a this dream, song, this song hit the spot. Really cool, like EDM dance song. Well, because it's with, it, like it's interesting to see it come full circle because a lot of EDMs have been taking influence from like Eastern or Indian uh, type music lately. Yep. And yeah. I just, love the Oriental just, like instrumentation in yeah, this. That's just, what I love the most. They have like a sitar or like some like kind of like string instrument as like the background, but it's very yeah. It's very reliant on its the the beat because most of the song is just instrumental or yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten very days. Much. few actual sing- or and really like there's singing. like very few lyrics but it's so like the presentation all the, ly- the lyrics are in English too yeah all the lyrics are in English yeah. too but like yeah everything about this is just beautiful like the dancing yeah, is beautiful yeah there's like a whole dance performance the, going the visuals on. are beautiful like how everything's framed is beautiful like the beats beautiful the vocals are beautiful like oh. I'm really, I'm really happy with this song. I, I, uh, yeah, this is really cool. Yeah. It took me a while to check it out, though. Like, I didn't check it yeah, out until same. everyone was like, look at this, look at this. And I was like, okay, okay. Like, yeah. I kept seeing links for it everywhere. It, it's almost like a, it's almost like interpretive dance or like a play yeah, or yeah, something exa- like that. So yeah, you, exactly. you never really see this sort of style of music come out in K-pop, but it's, it's, it works really well. And I think it's, it seems to be being like received very well, uh, Especially, well, obviously it's SM, and but also because of like NCT, do, the NCT connection. So, do yeah. we know who produced this? I am not sure, but I love I love the production. I love the production on it. Yeah, because like, like honestly, it should be the producer featuring Tan if he didn't produce it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was oh. great. Like this is probably. I don't know if I like this more than Red Velvet. I might. I might. I think it's I do. Close. I do. Easily. Uh, kind of. Yeah, easily. I think I do as well. Yeah, because it, it, it's, it's pretty close for me though. Yeah, it, it's cool I, see, I love this though. It showcases the sort of like Southeast Asian vibe to it. So yeah, like he's like, yeah he's, for he's sure. Thai. For those that don't know, like Ten is from uh, Thailand. Uh, yeah, he's from Thailand. So really, for whatever reason, like K-pop's really popular in Thailand. But the princess loves it. They have Thai. <laughs> there's Thai members. Well, and, it's because like, they don't really have their own music. Yeah. Like in uh, like Thailand and Vietnam, they have like. Apparently, like most of the art at music artists there, they usually just cover the same songs over and over. Oh, okay, so, like, yeah, <laughs> so like, most of like their music, music is like K-pop and J-pop and stuff. Mm-hmm. And obviously, yeah, that's Southeast what they Asia. mostly listen to. Southeast Asia just yeah. loves K-pop, so not surprising. Yeah, yeah, beautiful um, music next... video. Oh, good. No, that was just saying beautiful music video. That's it. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, next on the eighth, uh, Pure Kim, Pure Pure Kim, uh, Listen Project single, uh, Daughter of Your Age. It's a ballad. Uh, yep. On the ninth, uh, Lena Park and Kim Bum Su uh, did another fantastic duo song, uh, part two, called "Nagging." It's a this is a more like poppy duet song, which is kind of cool. Um, and then on the ninth, still we have Young Cream featuring Jay Best Boog, stage name. Uh, digital <laughs> Jay single Boog. better no. Is it Jay Bug like Jay Booger? I said <laughs> uh, so. Like I don't actually usually listen to the full song unless I'm really digging it. I skip around. And for this song, I literally skipped to that English line that I use as the intro, where he says, keep making my song, when I'm in the zone, don't look at my phone. And I was like, what? This is Best so rapper. bad. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, no, this song, gonna, I don't like this song. Like, lie. it's too, like, again, trappy. I, yeah, same. I actually like this song. Not gonna lie. I also not, hate the name Young Cream. 
Not it's too. Lie. It's too like generic. It feels well, like I mean, he's just copying what's happening in the America. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's me. why, because it kind of it, it's kind of a it's kind of a post Malone type song where it's just like really like like almost like indie like trap or like like melodic trap type of song. But yeah, no, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. To be completely honest, the only thing is though, like when Jay Book comes in, this is so lazy. Like where the rest of the music video is just like him at a pool with like sexy girls, and then poor Jay Book, the feature, they just like filmed him in the freaking studio. Oh, yeah. They're just in like, the, studio, like the, one yeah. day, the one day he's in studio, he's just like, okay, we need to film the music video part. So can you just can we just film me rapping in front of here? And it's just like so like low production value, and everything else was like high production value. I'm just like, oh man. And also, I just have to laugh at the part. I have the concept that somebody, you know how like one the K does, um, uh, like the the lyrics or in the subtitles. Yeah. Somebody had to subtitle the N word into this song. Oh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just laughing at the thought that somebody had to type that in. Like a Korean person, yeah. Just like, uh, yeah, because he dropped he drops a, he drops the N word in there somewhere. So. Moving on to a much 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 better song. On the 10th, uh, <laughs> EXID's mini album, Bummy, Eclipse, came out, uh, and they released Night Rather Than Day. It's like funky girl group song. I like how you... And we reviewed it. <laughs> what? Like, where Andrew skipped to is right after where I stopped singing. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we, we, we covered this Funny. mostly in our um, full review yep. album. We'll put, we the, we'll put the dot two, thing two in the corner, or a little link in the two. description. And we're yeah, seeing them weeks, live. Yeah. It's going to be great. And we're going to see them live. And Nate's gonna see cream, cream live. I'm gonna quit K-pop forever. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, this this song's good. Really funky, '90s inspired. Even the I, I think what I failed to mention in the last video is like even the outfits are '90 '90s uh, inspired. Like right, uh, where are they? Oh my god, I can't find. Like it's here, just, like that's like oversized LB. blazers is just like a really like '90s yeah. type of thing. Like really colorful. colorful. I love it. Love this. One- th- I think this is my One favorite. One thing I gotta point song. out is that Ellie looks really good with his blonde hair. And, and I freaking. Just, and I don't ha- like Ellie because she wrote the lyrics to Cream. <laughs> really? But. Also, I, her. I like Ellie. I realize this actually. Uh, is it on this album? I was listening to it the other day in the car. You're listening to Cream solo, in the car? No, no, I was listening to the new <laughs> album. Velvet. And Ellie's. Ellie's uh, solo song has like really generic, crappy English in it. And I'm like, she just wants <laughs> no. to write American pop lyrics. No, I love her, like, her song Velvet. I love that. Again, that's one of my favorite songs off the album. We, we I, into see, deep I deep didn't detail. like it. And the lyrics are just it was like, least, it your skin for me too, is but. velvet. My lips are velvet. Because it's a, like, it's a sexy it's, it's, R&B song. It doesn't have to be like I know, crazy. but her, she, why does she just use Korean and write more elegant lyrics? <laughs> because she wants... Or lyrics I can't understand, so don't make <laughs> the, me angry. The only reason it's more elegant is because you can't understand the entirety exactly. of it. Exactly. That's why I listen to K-pop, so I don't have to listen to horrible American lyrics. Stop it, Ellie. Stop it. But again, long hair, over. long hair honey is best XID. honey. Long hair honey yes, is best Yes, I agree. I, I second that. If Hani wasn't in so much, like so good in variety shows, Jungwa would be my bias, because Jungwa just, I don't know, mm. she, she's definitely my bias. If Hani wasn't amazing, but well, Hani's for me it's amazing, between so. Hani and Solji. I can't ever choose. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have uh, Young Dun and Daejun actually released a serious song, um, <laughs> digital single "Meet the Rose" featuring Lee Jin Ah. Uh, it's R and B, and I was surprised to hear a more serious song from Young Don Dejun, Doni and Coney. If you don't know, host Weekly Idol. They're comedians. Although Defcon is actually a rapper, but he's mostly an entertainer at this point. Uh, so on the tenth, we have uh, Unji's mini album Space, uh, with the title track "The Spring" featuring Harim, um, and it's yeah. like Unji's specialty. It's an acoustic yeah. ballad. So I, I like it. Like, I, I'm i still going to download it. I was just, like, slightly disappointed because it was the same exact style as, like, the last song. Yeah. Like, yeah, it I almost sounds like the same song. She has a nice voice, but, though. yeah. I love the music oh, video. Yeah, it's her as, like, a taxi Cloud driver. Nine. So good. Yo, I wish I wish I had a K-pop star as my Uber or taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> Except <laughs> they don't care about her. They're making out in the back. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, eh. Oh. But I mean, it, it's another like really like 
acoustic cutesy like girl like ballad with like french accordion influences which seems to be a kind of a popular thing in korea as is french called french style things in general but you know it's really good and her again her her vocals are impeccable so well, second always, best singer in want, k-pop in my mind it, yeah she wanted to be a vocal trainer before she became a pink so yep um and still on the 10th we have Okay, so Miso uh, oh my, okay. did, debut so digital single KKPP. <laughs> um, yeah. I literally this is discount Yuna. That is Give how I Baba. described it. Like, yeah, that's, I re- that's exactly. I wrote what I was down Yuna say. clone. Like, <laughs> this is discount Yuna. Like if you want oh, Yuna, no, but like, like worse quality visuals. Yeah, she's like Yuna, but annoying. Though. Choreo. Yeah, exactly. Yuna. Annoying. That music. Yuna. You know what? Wait, no. There's a. I don't know if I can skip this, oh, but there's a part. So grating. There's a part where like her voice. She's forcing this like high pitched voice, I think, because there's a part yeah. when she sings regularly, her like her vo- like her singing voice sounds nothing like this. Where like Hyuna sings that way because her singing voice is almost the same like pitch. Yeah, where, that's how that's how Hyuna's, Hyuna's voice sounds like. Where like, yeah. she sounds like she like the, Miso or whatever her name is. She's forcing like this high pitched sort of thing, like or, or I don't know. Whenever whenever, whenever oh, her actual so singing voice. So bad sounding. I, I can't yeah. listen to it anymore. Oh no, there's like a part like, where she's like, and then she does this part where she's like, uh huh, and like, yep. Or like her, yeah, her regular singing voice sounds nothing yeah, like Yeah, right like there, it voice. sounded better because she wasn't no, forcing. The, the, yeah, right there, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. Or like there's a part where it's, she's like, the most overused English line in any English song or Korean song. Freaking, we're gonna party like it's your birthday, please no. Please, <laughs> I don't want to hear this on my birthday. I wonder what the I wonder what the first song was that said that. I don't know. Well, the, uh, like the there's an original song that did that it just got copied it after every song but yeah no. and it's so obvious she's just trying to copy Hyuna like don't we have enough don't we have enough Hyuna like spinoffs with CLC yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that girl, that girl did oh, an alright job but she literally too. just looked like him <laughs> and she sounded like oh it. she's dabbing more stop it yeah it's okay we're moving I'm on I'm sorry I'm sorry to anyone that likes the group girls girls or whatever this is but this is not girls, is, that, girls. is she from a group girls girls is yeah, that I think what that so. is? wait is she the one that's from bonus okay. baby or whatever I don't know I don't know no I don't the think group so. is called girls girls I think, whatever so. girls yeah. girls yeah, yeah the group is like literally this. called girls oh girls. is that a group right there yeah I don't like it cause it says above it it has Unji has a pink in parentheses so that must be your group I hate that whatever. cocky laugh that's so it, it, it irks me on the tenth, we have uh, Teen Top's full length album High Five with the song Love Is. Uh, it's a guy group pop song. Yeah, Teen, Teen Top's Top. Always if you good. like Teen Top, you'd you'd like it probably. Uh, the eleventh, we have Double K featuring Shinwa's Minwoo uh, digital single Green Wave. It's hip hop. Uh, <laughs> it's like the new. It's a ballad. <laughs> yep. It, it, well, no, that's what I said. The, if the past few months were for ballads, this this month was for hip hop. There's so much hip hop and R and B. Um. On the eleventh, next we have Kim Na Young, uh, digital single "Being an Adult." So this is okay. I really, ballad. really like this song. Her voice is so, so good. beautiful. It's so good. Oh my god! And she did, she did one of my favorite tracks besides "You and Me" Rays always, but uh, from "Descendants of the Sun" too. She was on a, she was on um, a Yuki Dom song for "Unpretty Rap Star." That's that's the only thing I ever saw her on before. Yeah, I, I, might, I knew her from one? "Descendants." Uh, I forget the name, but. I'll figure it out. I probably I probably but know yeah, it though because I was standing Yuki so and during Unpretty Rap Star. So, it's just, like, so her, good. It's such a beautiful like one word I will keep using over and over again with a lot of the female singers. Their voice is mm-hmm. serene, like it's just yep. so clean and just like so. It's like it's like like it's like water flowing over like a freaking waterfall or something. It's like that like smooth. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, if you really like is. if you like her, um, you will like uh from her name is just from with two M's. Okay. F R O M M. She's just a fantastic singer. She uh she did a couple songs. One of them was a feature with G- uh, Giddy Boy, and then another one is on her own. Those are okay. two songs I know from her. She's really good. I looked that up. I think her album was called Erica. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. From Erica. Yeah, her name is from, but the <laughs> album is called Erica. That's yeah. confusing. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, the song's really good. If you like, if you like female ballad singers, check out this song. Okay, that was sure. cute. Um, still in the eleventh, uh, you, uh, Boys Twenty Four's Black Unit uh, debut, "Steal Your Heart." It's Guy Young Pop. Hwa Young's group. 
Five. Persona <laughs> Five. <laughs> um, yeah, steal your heart. Uh, and they never uh, see Yisung. it coming. Oh. <laughs> that's and, that's uh, a freaking uh, like battle theme. Yeah, yeah. I still uh, need, yeah, I need to get that Super game. Super Junior. Stuff. His pre-release single, "Sleep of the Winter." Yeah, it was alright. Is the title? It's a ballad. I kind of, I kind of feel bad for Ye Sung because like, he keeps releasing music. Like he clearly enjoys doing it, and yeah. I'm assuming you guys can hear this train. Nope. No. You don't Not hear. All, it? all right, good. At least the, the there's a freaking might. train in the background. It's really. All right. Now sorry, I almost called them viewers, and I had to correct users. myself and call them users. users. <laughs> All right, but, yeah, but I kind of feel bad for Yason because like, like he's he's making music, he's putting work into it, but nobody really looks at it because it's always just ballads. Well, yeah, because it, it so, gets boring after a while. To be completely honest. So. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And Korea has tons of ballads, so yeah, they don't need more. Um, next on the twelfth, we got FT, FT Island. Island's Japanese full-length album United Shadows with the t- t- title track Shadows, and FT Island just went heavy metal, metal and, and it's F- awesome. Yeah, we had to cover I, this because this is Fiona's, uh, our friend's favorite group, I well, think. Well, I, li- I like FT Island a lot. I never heard of them I, before. She said, I, go listen to them. Oh, they're yeah. The pre- they're, them they're and like CM Blue, Blue were like, they were FNC's money makers groups. until AOA the, showed up. This, this yeah, song AOA is, was supposed to be like them, just girls. Yeah, AOA was supposed to be but the girl is, group. AOA Black, rest in peace. But this song's way heavier than the last. The last song, "Take Me Now," was almost Muse influenced. This is almost like freaking metalcore or prog rock influence. This is yeah, like, yeah. I don't like, think they've ever had a song like this. This is so less much as like FT Island. Dude, I want to see. I want to see Day Six like do that. something like this. Day Six yeah. prog rock? What? Dude, that'd be crazy. But yeah, this is less. Yeah, the, this is less Day Six muse. like new metal or something. <laughs> this is less Muse, more like Between the Buried and Me or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I. Like, well, it's not B. You can't go BT Bam. It's not that hard. <laughs> They're not. The, but I know where you're coming. It's from. not as instrumental. Um, yeah, yeah. But no, they. Yeah, FT Island. Like I haven't listened to their stuff in a while, but I did not expect this from them because uh, they were always like pop rock. This is uh, Japanese, right? Yeah, yeah this, this is a Japanese single. Is a Japanese song, that explains so. why they went harder. But no, there's a J-pop or K-pop song that has freaking double bass in it. Just, just appreciate that fact right now. There's a double bass hit in a K-pop song or a J-pop <laughs> song. That's amazing. Yep. So yeah, this song's awesome. Definitely check it out. Uh, next is uh, Lee Hyeri uh, from Davici. Uh, de- debut pre-release single, Pattern. Um, so this is... I don't know if you guys listen to it or remember it that much, but it's like funk pop. It's really cool for like... Davici member because they don't usually do stuff like this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember. There. I really like I really like the MV for this one though. It's pretty yeah. cool. I like like with the projection too. and stuff. Like it's low budget but it looks nice. Yeah, yeah. and th- well, this is just a pre debut thing too because the yeah. ballad she released later this month what is like the actual. Single. But I think I like this I, song better though. Yeah, I thought oh, this I do one too. Was better as well. Why is this the pre debut? I, I don't know. Just because Davici is known for their ballads so, and like yeah. they're yeah. popular in Korea, so hers will stand out as like her doing a solo one. That's true. I so guess. that's why, because it'll be. But I really like this song much better than just like the ballad one. Yeah. Wait, yeah, which I, I, I uh, do you guys know which company Davici's from? I don't remember. Uh, they used to be under the same company as Tiara. They used to be under MBK or MBK. whatever. Uh, see, well, I don't remember what they were before that. Cause they weren't MBK. Oh, uh, they're they're CJ now, just CJ. Really, just under straight uh, under no, CJ. No, I mean before before they were MBK, they had a different name. Yeah. Um, oh, and, wait, they had a different name. Yeah, when they had Davici, they used to be something else. I'm looking it up. Oh, was it Sia? It was it started with a C. Um. Core content, yeah, CCM, Core Contents Media. Okay, oh, so you're talking as, about. Oh, so you're talking as, about the company. So yeah, yeah, I thought the group the had a different name. I was so like, yeah, oh no, well. they were always Davici. So yeah, that's what they're, they're, they say. That's like, the like I'd never heard of Core that. Core Contents was the same one as. Um, uh, yeah. Core Contents Media was the the, the old name for which? MBK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, MBK. That's okay. what we're saying. Yeah, they left. They left Core Contents or MBK in 2014, and now there was CJ. Um, just CJ. <laughs> yeah, well, CJ and them. Uh, but yeah, I, I really like the song. 
Um, I thought Reminds it was me cool of the Dora Call MV with a projector. Yeah. Yeah. Except they didn't do the cool like cube well, thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole like in it's like a whole art pop vibe you get from the song. Yeah. So yeah, I like it. Uh, still on the twelfth, we have uh, Lena Park's digital single "Courting," which is R and B. Yep. And Luna Fly's digital single "Dreaming About You," which is R and B. Yeah. <laughs> and then Mach Tube, Mach Tube. featuring yes. Lee A June, digital single "Because It's You," which is Her not R and B. It's her a ballad. voice is fantastic. Yeah, this is this is like the only ballad I picked out of this because her voice is so like well and Kim Nile. Serene. <laughs> yeah. Um but freaking like you can hear it in the song where like you can hear like her voice goes from fragile to immediately just like really power vocal like sort of like heavy sort of thing. It's it's that's very hard to that's how you know she's a good singer. I believe she's like her actual like shtick is that she's a ballad singer. She like she sings on a lot of like drama OSTs or whatever. You could tell. So yeah, uh, Mach so is the guy playing the piano, G. right? Hmm. Mach I is? assume. I'm guessing. I don't know. Like, no. I think, he... I think it's E A June no. is the guy playing the piano. Yeah, E A June. So then who the heck is, is Mach Two? Yeah. She's Mach Two. Is that is that her? Yeah, Wait, I think she's Mach Two. No, no, no. I think the, so. No, the the girl. I think the girl's named E A June. Really? I looked it up. The I looked it up. June sounds like a dude's name. No, it, yeah, it's a girl. Yeah, because that's June at the end. No, it's a, it's a girl, I swear. I looked this up last night. Yeah, EA June is the girl. Oh, okay. So Mock Tube is the guy playing piano, I guess. But he's a singer, yeah, too, right. so I don't know why he. I don't know why it's just her singing the vocals. I don't know. But yeah, it's... You can tell her voice is really well suited for ballads, definitely. This, you can tell, like, her high notes are so clean. Ugh. That's weird because it says he's a singer, but then he just didn't. Sing he's playing song. piano. Yeah, I don't <laughs> he's know. <playing> piano. <laughs> yeah, is it really the, his song then? It, it's kind of like that one song with We. Yeah. Was it with We in where she did the where she did all the vocals? Except yeah, it was the other the, guy's yeah, song. Yeah, the one last the one yeah. last month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know. It's a good ballad though. I like. Yeah, it. I like it. For, for again, it's a for a ballad. It's amazing. I love her vocals. For sure. Yep. The next one's really cool too. On the thirteenth, uh, we have the Barbarettes I mini mean, album yes. Spring. All right, I don't know if any. Bear. I don't know if either of you but, have heard of them, but I actually no. have. Before. No, I didn't. I, I never, never heard, heard of them until now. But it's yeah, I, I know the Barbarettes. They're and great. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah that's like their whole thing. K-pop is they're like Motown, like swing music, or like yeah. really yeah. like like throwback retro duop almost, or like yeah, it's not yeah. like elevator music. Well, they're supposed to be like a barbershop quartet. That's why they're the Barbarettes. Which makes sense. It sounds like music from The Sims or something like that. Oh, like a oh, menu yeah. music. Yeah, like like yeah, yeah like which kind of which kind of leads into like sh- like stuff in Japanese like in Japan like Shibuya K or like it, 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 stuff that sounds like elevator music, but it sounds really good. I, like their their vocal harmonies are so on point. Obviously, since they're like supposed to be like a uh, a trio Barbara vocalist Shark and everything. So yeah, yeah. like acapella. I stuff. love it. Yeah, it's really cool. I this came out of nowhere. I was like, I'd never heard of them. Yeah, I'd never heard out. of them before. Yeah, like, it's oh, weird though. It's weird because. I know him from a few years ago. Like, oh, really? this music video only has, like, 5,000 views. But, like, oh, the Barbarettes, cool. And then I popular? realized that they're not as big as I thought they were. Apparently were they not. popular it's before? 5,000 views, and this came out on the 13th. I thought they the were 12th. decently popular, at least. The 13th. Well, I mean, I don't but know I how... I guess not. I don't know how, how appealing, like, doo-wop or elevator music would be in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> but I love yeah. this. It's, like, a, like almost, like, kitsch style. It's just, like, really weird and, like, unique... Especially yeah, this, it's like, really unique. That's why. Sort of like landscape. I think they're like older too, so maybe that might be why. Yeah. Guys, I think we're gonna hit another three hour. Yeah, we gotta so. we gotta speed this up. <laughs> <laughs> hour um, and a half. Yeah, yeah Andrew's like we're uh, uh, what, an hour forty max. <laughs> um, so next is double eight digital single booster. It's really bad hip hop. <laughs> it was like a rip fire rip off that was really bad. Uh, and Jane Jong, uh, digital single Carmen. That's uh, acoustic pop song. And then what's Man, up? Like came if you up. hold on, I have something oh. to say about Double Eight. Oh. Like if you look at them, they do oh, not Double look Eight. like hip hop. Oh no, no, yeah. Like and you could not the, take the them song serious. Is just not good. Uh, it was, it was like bad. they're trying to be hard, and they just look like they're like really not. Yeah. Uh, next is uh, what's up? Mini album, color TV. Oh, so I don't. Not as not even really in the group what's anymore. Up that much. But this song was really cool because it has like sweet 80s synth in the back, and that was a really cool dance break. 
Yeah. I just don't like that Nada's not in the group anymore. Oh, She's a really didn't, good rapper. You didn't have the music video queued wait, up? Wait, wait, wait. I'll get it. I'll it get was it. so good. Um, yeah, I like I I haven't really liked them that much. I think part of it just comes from like the whole their debut thing. Was oh yeah, twerking. it was all about twerking and shit. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, this is just dumb. This shit, I don't yeah. know. But this song, you like it? Oh, God, I like I like the '80s like synth backing to it. It kind of sounds like half-assed crayon pop to me. Completely <laughs> honest, that's really? why that's what I, that was the first thing I heard. I was just like, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I get like an '80s like MC Hammer stuff from the instrumentals. I don't know. The vocals are kind of annoying. That's that's kind of what puts me off about it. But I mean, I like the visuals. But yeah, the song itself is just like okay. I'll, it's it's pastel. I, I want to skip to the dance break because the dance break's really good. Uh, coming up eventually. Um, <laughs> it's just a shame they like they rap a lot in this and they lost yeah. their best rapper and they lost their best rapper. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Who was runner up on I'm Pretty Rap Star? But yeah, I can see where you're getting the cram pop vibes from their vocals, though. Yeah, for sure. But I just like the instrumentals of it. I guess. It's, yeah, it the instrumentals are bad. It's just I don't like, like the this part. It's totally like '80s oh, yeah. MC well, Hammer. Yeah, yeah you can definitely. like even like the obnoxious like samples that sound like they're straight out of uh, <laughs> freaking Mario Paint or freaking Street Fighter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, Street Fighter or, um, or freaking Mortal Kombat or something. Mario Paint. Yeah. I love it. So I actually liked it because of that. Um, but what yeah, did the odds Nintendo makes Mario Paint for Switch? Um, we'll move on to uh, Zico's <laughs> "She's a Baby" digital single. She's a baby. Which is not what I expected out of Zico at all. <laughs> Did not get what I thought I was getting. Like, this yeah, no, this guy's a rapper, I was, right? I was like, Zico singing. Yeah, this guy's it's a an rapper, acoustic right? ballad for like most of the song, and then he raps like, at this some is a com- point. But... This is a complete 180 from like Bermuda Triangle. Or... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> or I was Ven- so confused. Or Venny but it's good. Or something like that. I love it. I liked it. His false sound is so I... unique. <laughs> You know, like our friend Nico did a reaction to this, and I think this is the first Zico video he saw. Wow! <laughs> so he has no idea. So like that, no <laughs> yes. We need to send him uh, like Nalili Bermuda Mambo Triangle. Yeah, yeah. Or Bermuda and Block Triangle, B videos. Yeah. yeah, like Block B, just ridiculous, like Big Bang style, mm. like crazy rapping. This song, is, yeah, this is not Zico. The arrangement of this song is so interesting. Where like there's that part. There's that part like about a minute in where it goes kind of goes half time, which is um the the proper, yeah yeah I the proper that like too. term is syncopation because like it, the tempo completely changes and then it just switches back immediately. But I, it's so unique how like he's playing around with the the sort of like <clears throat> um the the tempos or like the time signatures of the song, but it sounds really interesting. Or like it, yeah. It's kind of it kind of like takes you out of the song and then just goes back into it. Um, apparently Dean worked on this and his like he has like some ghost he has like some like low key vocals in this song as well. Hmm. I don't oh, know, it's I probably the background it. vocals here. Then yeah. you can't hear it anymore. Yeah, l- but yeah, like, this song yeah. uh, it gives me like show tune vibes almost. Yeah, I guess I can get that, but yeah, I'll, with like the instrumentals in the back and stuff. But yeah, it, and like the yeah. sort of like tempo and I, stuff. And again, the like we're, this part, like I love the, uh, I love the, the really unique uh, falsetto he does. Or, yeah, I just love like the like the. This song has just like it's so sporadic and erratic or whatever. It just you never really hear yeah, something it's like really this. Really like low key and stuff too. Yeah, you never really hear something like this from a K-pop song or, and and then his rap yep. is actually really good. Like you wouldn't think a rap would fit in a song like this or whatever, but he makes it work so well. It's yep. Zico. He's got to rap. Yeah, he has to rap. That's his. That's his bread and butter. But or his, his bread and better. Or what? What, what did you say before? Bread and or yeah, bed and, and brother. Bed and brother. Yeah. Bed and brother. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm a huge Zico fan. Probably bigger Zico fan than Block B fan at this point. Because I, 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 I love all the songs he does. He's just. He, you can tell. You can see how talented he is with how versatile his his music's uh, like. His music choices are like this slate of songs have been so, yeah. Well, he's yep. one of the only like universally like respected idol rappers. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's definitely a reason for that. Mm-hmm. For him okay. being the respected one, I mean specifically. We're halfway there. Halfway. We're on the fourteenth. We're on part three, and this is <laughs> <laughs> Beckyon from EXO Station song "Take You Home," it's which about- is an acoustic ballad. But Andrew wants to talk about it. Because 
I love I love EXO. And I just came off of seeing the EXO concert, so obviously that's true. You just saw like I, so. I, Beck Young's falsetto is just really on point. Um, though, why is this music video playing differently? Um, oh, you're playing Gilden. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Where did you skipped one? I don't know. Did you I skip it? <laughs> or you just didn't put it? Can in you the go list. back? Or I could just look up Beck Young. Um. Cause yeah, you're playing the next one. Spoilers. You know, I, I don't know who this girl is or whatever, but I think judging from the music video, either either he's a ghost or she's a ghost or whatever. Cause like throughout the whole music video, he's just singing to her and she just doesn't notice him or something. Or I don't know, maybe she's playing hard to get or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I love- Beckin's a ghost. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know. He's maybe. definitely a ghost. He's dead. It's a BTS MV all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. But no, I like. Lo- I really like. I really like his uh, voice. So. Even though it's, this is kind of a different style of a song from what you usually hear from EXO, I, I like it. I like it. And yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad. Yep. It was just another ballad to me. Because <laughs> uh, I don't I like have the it. size to EXO that you have. Huh? I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I just um. All uh, next we have Hane uh, and Kanto uh, Airplane, which the only holy, thing I know about Holy Hood present project single. Holy Whatever. Hood. <laughs> it's hip hop. It says uh, holy here. Oh yeah. It's the only thing holly. I know about Kanto is that he filled in for Verbal Jin when Taeyeon performed I. And that's the only it. thing that's I know I've about Kanto is it's the first region in Pokemon. In Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's an also area a real region Japan. In Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the um, Kanto region. But moving on to the next song that we're gonna talk about is Hyolin from Star and Changmo, a digital single Blue Moon. And this really is good. just like electronic pop and it's really good. Real? Uh, I kind of find that generic, to be completely honest. I think it's really? good. I like it. I, liked I, don't, it. I don't know, because it's just... I don't know, I'm really... I like Hyodin, but she's kind of hit or miss for me. Where a lot of her... Because she definitely tries to dabble in more American-style music, but a lot of it just ends up sounding like something I've heard before. <laughs> or, I was going to say, I can see where you're coming from with it being generic, yeah, because it too. reminds me of American pop, yeah, it's, but it's I don't very, listen to American pop ever, so yeah, I like so you, it. Yeah, so you don't have that I don't point hear of... It. Yeah, you don't have that point of reference because this just sounds like kind of your, my stereotypical American EDM kind of music. Well, no, yeah, like I, I have the point of reference of it's like that, but I just don't ever listen to it, so I'm also, not bored of it. Also, the beat drop is weird. Like it sounds like they're playing it backwards or something. That, they that, they might be. That's a new thing. Like they play sample backwards. Like this part. I don't oh know. yeah. It just sounds. It just sounds like they. Oh yeah, that's they, definitely backwards. Well, yeah. yeah, the waves, or yeah, the video is backwards stuff. Too. Also, why is she wearing a freaking fur coat at the beach? <laughs> with uh, with short it's, shorts. With short, well, she, it's fashion. She, it's she has injury. to have short shorts on. I mean, I know, but it's funny that it's with a giant fur coat. Well, I mean, that's the that's that's fashion nowadays, where you have oversized top and um really tight or really short um bottom or whatever, like jeans or shorts or whatever. Tucked in. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I. I I expect more from Hyodin. I expect more. I'm gonna move on. I liked it. I thought it was good. Yeah, I, I liked it too. Um, next, also on the 14th is Kisum's mini album, The Sun, the Moon, uh, title track "Sleep Tight" featuring GB9. It's a duet ballad, but I like Kisum, so I like. Waiting it. for a diss track from Kisum. Yeah, we, we're getting Kisum <laughs> Casper diss track. I uh, can't wait. Uh, <laughs> no, no, not a diss track to Casper. We're going to get a key some Casper collaboration mm-hmm. diss track against Juicy, Juicy Cat. Cat, which is a horrible name. Uh, <laughs> but we'll talk about that more later. Uh, on the 15th, uh, we got, okay, I'm going to butcher this name probably, Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex is and like a material. <laughs> Gore-Tex, Geary Boy, Black Nut, Bill Stacks, and Swings. Black Nut. I only know three of those. Yeah, I know Black Nut. And and Black Nut was on hip-hop. Show Me the Money. I I've know heard, Giddy Boy, Black Knight, and Swings. I knew Swings and Geary Boy, that's it. Uh, but moving on to the 16th, we got <laughs> very good <laughs> digital single, Booty Bobby Boo. Booty so Bobby disappointing, Boo. man. So I, getting away from the disappointment of it not being Don't Believe style and not and having a really, really bad MV, I actually enjoyed the song. I don't. Yeah, I think that MV's okay. I don't it's whatsoever. Just like, uh, you don't? Andrew? No, I'm I, I'm like I might go off on a rant here because I'm I'm pissed about this song. Like, hey, you didn't did you didn't make start it, did you? 
I'm I'm going back and forth on whether or not to make star this because this 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 pissed me off a lot. Like, don't believe was such a good song, just like an e, like an EDM electro house inspired vibe. I know it's a it was such a it was such a one eighty from what um very good usually does. They're just again they they're the songs before that were just typical like kind of cutesy girl group generic in my opinion, but. This, uh, like, I was expecting more in that vein, and we got this. I mean, maybe I would like the song more if they stuck with the original, they stuck with the original um sort of concept for it. Because from what I, from what I understand, the original concept was supposed to be like speed skating or something. Because yeah, that's speed what it, skating, that's cool what it was stuff. In the yeah. no, that, I don't know. Yeah, I have no teaser. idea where that that teaser. Like, came. I feel happened, like I feel like they had the MV and they just scrapped it. And yeah. So what I, what I believe like what happened is maybe something. Maybe either the budget cuts or maybe there was so much. Uh, I was seeing something about maybe that they had too many references to Disney or something, or because Bibby Bibbidi Boppity Boo or whatever is like the yes, the, the so Cinderella thing. Cinderella. So maybe it had too oh, many. Oh, they have to pay Disney. Yeah, to so use maybe that that's name. why they had to ax the music video, and like, <sighs> like I'm know. I'm incredibly like I don't I don't know if words can uh, like state or convey how angry i am at how p- low quality this music video is like they use digital zoom that looks so blurry um there's no lighting in like the, the dance choreography part it looks like so bland um they edited this in iMovie, iMovie. <laughs> they use iMovie fonts and like i guess kind of what the reason why i liked um don't believe is just because the everyone's Everyone's going back to that sort of cutesy girl group concept. Well, they went in the other direction where it's a more of a like a, a dance, like fierce girl group concept, and then they just went back to it. It's like it's such a tease, and it's just like I know you're better than this. I know I can expect so much better music than you from this, and it just I, maybe it's because I got my high, maybe I put my expectations too high, or maybe it didn't. I, I mean I don't know if I don't believe seemed to do well, or it seemed to do like the best out of a lot of their music videos. So, I mean, I, again, I, I don't know why the stylistic change. It's just so weird to me. I don't know. I, like, like I said, I'm removing myself from the don't, don't believe expectations and removing myself from the MV entirely and just listening to the song. I like it because it's not one. Well, it's not what I expected, but, and it's not horrible, but it's also like, got some like really cool themes that are different like it's almost got like a country guitar like kind of yeah which is weird like which is weird but i think i like it because it's different yeah Um, like i can see that so yeah i'm if i'm just completely ignoring the the fact that the mv is horrible and the fact that i was hoping for another don't believe and i didn't get it yeah i I like the song i just want to know i just want to know what happened to the mv like what the heck yeah yeah, it's really Because the teaser had, like, top-notch cinematography and stuff, and then this is, like, filmed like, on, this might be, like... Like, I could do this kind of music video quality, like, on my cell phone or whatever. Well, yeah, yeah, on your phone without editing it. But yeah, yeah something know, this, definitely this, happened. This is probably one like of the... Like, this footage, this is raw footage. It's not even... It's not color-corrected or anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is probably the one of the most disappointed I've ever been in K-pop. Like, and I've been listening to K-pop for six years, and wow... Wow, this is this let like also they should well, just pick me up again so they can let me down even more. <laughs> I think you're also more disappointed because it came out the same day as Huibi and Nino. Yeah, <laughs> although you were disappointed in Nino, so I don't know. You weren't happy that day. I guess. Yeah, I know. I was not happy that t- this day that day. I was very happy because Huibi was amazing. And yeah, Nino Huibi was, was so also. good. <laughs> anyway, speaking of which, we'll we're get to that. The, the, 17th which is right now pretty much uh 17th yep. so first we have uh 14u i'm just not even f- fuck them just fuck them why because <laughs> their debut digital nom, nom, single nom. is called very 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 hey, hey, how clickbaity how nom, clickbaity nom, nom, can nom, you nom. get like you literally just stole ioi's last single from six months ago and named your somebody's, song it somebody's to try gonna to come get, out with like clicks <laughs> Someone's gonna come out with a song called like Dream Girls or something, and Nate's just gonna go off on a rant. We are oh yeah, their the next dream song's boys. Dream Girls. I'm just gonna like, I don't know. Like I just saw that and I was like, really? Like you? That has to be on purpose. Like that yeah, can't no, be. Yeah, no, hundred percent sure. That's probably mistake. on purpose. There's no reason why you put very, very, very as the title of your song unless you want people to think it's uh, it's IOI. 
Yeah, the, the people like accidentally click on it trying to find iOS on. Like it's, I was just like, no, yep. fuck this. Uh, also on the seventeenth, uh, Din Din's digital single, <laughs> super super lonely. Uh, it's R and B. What kind of name is uh, Din Din? It sounds like it sounds like like Din Din is right here. It's just like dinner, <laughs> <laughs> like a really childish thing. Anyway. Uh, next is Kong Minzi, uh, work one Minzi. Uno. Woo. Uh, it's I love debut. it. With Nina No featuring Flosick. Yeah, we we went over Books, this in the review. And we reviewed it, and it's we'll, amazing. But we'll Andrew an doesn't eye. like it as much. Because I wanted. More. I just love that she. Love it. I love that she chose Flosick for the rap. Because he does not. Get, he always gets slept on. I I hope yeah, he no, gets more exposure. Yeah, this no, year. he's def- Flosick is definitely slept on, way too often. Yeah. <sighs> like he gets um, the respect, he just doesn't get the recognition. Yeah. It's so good though. I love it. Um. Still on the seventeenth, we have Fwasa from Mamamoo and Eat Esna and Foreplay. Digital single Esna love is comes. Really good. It's an acoustic pop song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, um Esna for I guess if you guys didn't know, I'm sure you do. Nope. Uh they did the song with Mamamoo. Uh what the hell was it called? It's the one in the barbershop. Not sure. Oh, uh, Aoop. They did uh she did Aoop with Mamamoo. Okay. okay. I don't know. I mean, it had an MV and everything, so yeah. Okay, I must have missed that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, still on the seventeenth, we got the greatest girl group song this year so far. Uh, Hui Hui, Miss This Kiss, mini album from Laboom, Laboom. I yep. miss this kiss. And this is literally the, like the quintessential girl like, group song. Like yeah, actually, 313. if you want to. If you want to, if you were to put like girl group song in the dictionary, you'd put this an image of this right next to it. Like this is, it's like everything I want out of a girl group song. I love it. Like right down to yep. like, the cutesy choreo to the the whistling. Like oh, again, I wasn't the colors. Really, like you got like this 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 has me high on the boom. Like I want to see them live. Oh, I love the boom. I'm so glad the song is so good and they're starting to get more recognition. Because uh, it's so good, Andrew. Take us to three thirteen. Wait, wait, wait. I like how it's it's like a Bible verse for you. Yeah, three thirteen. Yeah, la boom, three thirteen. La boom, Austin three sixteen just said I kick your ass. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Look at right here, three right thirteen. Oh God, yeah, the face fl- scrunch. The so face good. scrunch. That is so good. the okay. end. Top we can move to the scrunch. We t- we reviewed it. We love it. <laughs> hey, my name. My name's on there. Oh yeah. Pause uh, right there. Yeah, I did. I did. I paused it. Where is it? It's in the right middle right. Right at the far Woo. right, cool. and in the, the middle. Line. Oh, I see it. I see it. Nathan Swisher. He's a he yep. is a yep. Laboom producer. So just full disclosure, full disclosure in our opinions of Laboom. Uh, Nate actually is a producer. So yeah, so bias. <laughs> Obviously, I'm biased. Yep. Um, next uh, we have uh, VV from Luna, uh, solo debut, single album, and the title track is "Every Day I Love You, Every Day I Need You." And it's right more. It's more Luna. It's like more a pink vibes. It's mm-hmm. good. I, I like, like it. it. I think I think Vivi might be my Luna bias, mostly because she's the only one I that she's I the only. Don't know any of them. Because she's the only I one. I think that, for me, I go on. She's the only one first. that's actually like twenty plus years old. Everyone else is like freaking. Oh. <laughs> one, like of the, the one, like, one of them is like fourteen. She looks yeah. fourteen. <laughs> For me, I guess I'm kind of just disappointed with Luna because they're just generic for me. I guess most of the time. Yeah, I guess yeah, I can like, see that. Like, not... well, because the the amount of money they're putting into this group is crazy, but yeah, it should just be like generic like this. Like, I don't. I'm scared that they won't catch on. Yeah, I I agree. But I mean, well, I'll have my opinions later on the Luna one third. Um, but yeah, I could see like this is sort of, kind of. I like the aesthetic of the music video, but yeah, this is probably one of the weaker like solo Luna releases. Like it's, it's it has like a '90s aesthetic. It's like freaking like Trapper Keeper or like uh, freaking. She has a Walkman and the guy starts playing DDR somewhere in the music video or something, and then roller skating. Like I don't know, it's just a yeah. u- unique music video. She's actually Chinese, I believe. Yeah, she's she's really yeah she's oh. Chinese. So. My 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 Chinese bias. <laughs> yeah, I dude, that those like, parts with uh, the really bright it reminds me of like all the SES. MVs. Oh yeah, yeah, I think really that's what they're kind of going like for. It's just like it's a kind of like a really again with the visuals and the songs, kind of like old school '90s type of yep. vibe. It's even to the yep. fashion, 
Like with that, that hairstyle yeah. with like the like yeah, wearing, the hairstyle. wearing like, the freaking white. like golf cap with like pigtails going out the side. That's straight up. That is straight up out of like Spice Girls aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's, I I kind of agree with you though, Jacob. Like it's starting to get kind of like samey and yeah, yeah. You know, we'll need I'm, more. I'm starting to get worried about their because like. M. It's, it's that A pink style, but we have so much of that now. Like, we have A pink, and we have April, and, and we, have we have Oh My Girl, and like the just, just we're, we're getting in La Boom. Like we're getting incredibly saturated. Yeah, but La Boom does it good. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't. I don't know if we need more of this. And I, I like you said, they're not like they're putting a ton of money in this, but they're not a huge mm-hmm. company. And like I don't know if April can't get huge like Them, their views like, seem yeah, to be de- halfway decent at least for ESP uh, like a, and a, like they seem to do well on the videos like um, that's assuming they're not buying views also yeah that's knock on wood hopefully not because I, I I want so, them to see them succeed yeah because I mean if well, if a company is putting this much like work hard work and effort and money into this that's the, gonna suck if it you know yeah like. I hope they can uh, pull off some like better stuff when they officially debut. Mm. So we'll yeah. see. Uh, next on the 18th, uh, we have Jessica's digital single. It's spring. It's a ballad, and all <laughs> I want is playback. Give me playback, <laughs> Jessica. Stop this is it. Sochi. This is the most Jessica song I've ever heard. Exactly. See, that's that's fun. that like I like it, but it's literally every Jessica song I've ever heard. But is I this love song. it. I love it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Give Jessica, me playback. Jessica is my, Jessica is my OG bias, so I love it so much. Like Nate's just enraged by Cordell. Cordell, like her I vocals. Hate them. Are, I love her. Her vocals are so beautiful, and like the aesthetic is really fits Jessica, just like or the old timey sort of thing. Um, she looks amazing in this music video too. I love her with like the with, with yeah. I always love hair. her simple fashion oh my and God. stuff. And her with glasses. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah, it's like this yes. really like acoustic bluesy sort of song, and she gets to showcase um, that side of her her so- her vocals more than just like the actual like upbeat, almost dance tracks that she does for most of her songs. I love it. I love it. This like this is probably like this might be my favorite, surprisingly, of all of her songs. <laughs> favorite? Yeah. Uh, mine's probably. I think mine, mine might be uh, Dancing on the Moon from her Maybe. Actually, Wonderland album. It's between, this like and, it's between this and Dancing on the Moon. But yeah, I don't know, because I, I wasn't really high, too high on her like singles. So, But yeah. Does everyone have to do a Dude, spring played, song, though? I, was, I played Wonderland all the time. But yeah, no, like, what did you say, why, why are there so many spring songs? Oh, because that's a thing in Korea. Well, I know, like, spring is, like, renewal and, like, starting yeah, over, yeah. but... You know, like that Busker Busker song always tops the yeah, charts when it's spring. Every year. Yeah, <laughs> like literally, like right, just because it's spring, it's it starts charting. Yeah, well, well like that literally doesn't happen anywhere else <laughs> in the world. Yeah, yeah, it's that's so crazy. Weird. Yeah, I mean, it's more Jessica, but I just want this. Stop! Playback. <laughs> stop hijacking the. Stop hijacking. <laughs> I just want playback. Give me playback, please. Everyone we'll wants playback. We'll get more soon, hopefully. Please, for the love of God. Okay. Uh, still on the 18th, we have Lee Shion, digital single. It's in Korean. Um, it's uh, Naige uh, Sunun Pyeonji. Pyeonji. Pyeonji, yep. yeah. Uh, it's a ballad. Naige Sunun Pyeonji. Um, next is SF9's mini album, Breaking San Sensation. San Francisco 9. Uh, the title track is Easy Love, and it's guy group pop, but I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Another guy so, group is going to be at KCON um, instead of Taeyang. Uh, yeah, like, I was going to say, uh, we'll be seeing them at KCON, so I'm happy I enjoyed the song. <laughs> yeah, no, I really like the song. It's it's kind of different from their last song, because they're... The last song I heard from them, uh, I forget the I name. I thought this was good though, actually. Yeah, or the last. Like, song, I, I'm not too big on SF9, but I think this is a really good song. I think. Uh, okay. I think the last time we covered one of their songs, I said like I could see them getting big because they're obviously one, they're a guy group, and two, they kind of, they kind of, they kind of toe the line between EXO BTS style and Beast, where th- this is more like, like emo boy K-pop or like guy group type of song. Isn't SF9 from F and C? I believe so. Yeah, I think they are. So they're like yeah. the new, the like new, they're the boy, boy AOA. AOA. Yeah. yeah, they're the boy AOA, and also like the song is very well produced. Obviously, with FNC, they're 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 fairly good with 
when it comes to their songs and it's yeah, pretty unique enough. how they play with like the core or they go into a minor key in the chorus at one point so yeah i like it yeah i forgot about end flying Who? rock band i like i like that part of the uh the choreography group. though where they just open up their like jacket <laughs> their jacket yeah and just hold that, it that's there. gonna get a huge oh, reception cool. live trust me Oh my god. You imagine one of them's just wearing nothing underneath their jacket and they just That's go, gonna happen. That's gonna happen, just trust flash me. Flash the audience. Yeah, it's going to. <laughs> you, you know it's going to. <laughs> okay. Uh next, still on the eighteenth, we have Ye Sung from Super Junior's mini album Spring Falling with the song Paper Umbrella. And Again, it's ballad. You know. You already so got it's, you already it's got another my ballad from Ye Sung. Uh and on the nineteenth we have A Pink's uh sixth anniversary digital single Always. And it's a pink song. It's a pink. It's what they it's do. Cu- it's yeah. cute. And they're adorable. Yeah, it's cutesy. It's a pink is always adorable. They're, yeah, they uh, they have like the the music video. They, for what I don't know, I don't know why, but like they have like the eight bit sort of like video game. Yep. Thing. I don't I don't know what that has that has to do with like the the song, but <laughs> I don't know. Like uh, like Lehigh's um, "Hold Your Hand." Yeah. Yeah. Or hold my hand. The most sorry. underrated member of a pink. Namju? Yeah, she's my bias. She's oh, underrated. Really? Yeah, you mine, is always, <laughs> mine is always between team. Unji and Chorong. Yeah, Chorong's good. No, they're all good. They're third favorite group of all time. They always will be. I love A Pink. Um still on the nineteenth we got uh Daya's new album, full length album, YOLO. YOLO. Why? Why? <laughs> at least the at least the title track isn't also YOLO. The title track I is really... will, you, will You Go Out With Me? I really like the rapping um, in the song. I was gonna like, say we like, need more Kathy rap at the very beginning. Okay, so um, where she's like talking cute and yeah, it's yeah, so she's cute. doing like cute talk rapping. There's there's something yeah, da- like that. There's something dangerous with this song though. Or I love least, Kathy. Like almost the entire song, or like not not the song. The, almost the entire M- MV is Cheyenne. Yeah, oh, it's true. yeah, Cheyenne's Chay- the new Susie. Like she's. But, she was in another MV this month. I don't remember yeah. which, but I was like, oh, hey, there's Chan. But, like, it's, I think, when, during the chorus, it's like, I keep thinking freaking Justin Bieber, baby. It's like, I'm like, baby, oh, yeah. baby, 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 baby. baby. I'm just yeah. like, no, wrong song, wrong song. But I think that's a dangerous game you're playing if Chan is going to be 90% of your music video. When she yeah. only has eight lines in the entire song, I double check. She has eight lines. Oh, yeah. She, yeah, she's, yeah. She is very much the visual of the group. Which is well, like the thing. Well, Koreans think she's like one of the most beautiful girls like ever. Let me, yeah, yeah, like she she's, is. Like, but she's still, gorgeous. like, but still, like, <laughs> the the rest of the group bear gets like three seconds. Yeah. I, and I think eh. it, 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 uh. this is how you end up with a Miss A or twenty one or four minute situation where one yep. person literally is hard carrying the group and, and everyone might just get jealous. Well, they might not show it, but they the- look at jealous because. And that's a really dangerous think, game you have to play. I think it's a little different, though. Like, it's not that big of a deal because it's just the MV. Like, Hyuna carried four-minute songs because she was the main rapper and they mostly did a lot of, like, rapping yeah. to where this one she had right most now? the most lines as well as being the center in the mm-hmm. visual. Where Cheon during the performance versions and, like, doing the performances on the music stages, she's not going to get... It's not going to be like this. Hopefully not. Because she only it, has a few lines. Like, I understand why they're doing it, because they want to ride the IOI hype train. It's just... Yeah. I mean... I don't know. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, it's just, like, they shouldn't... Hopefully this doesn't become a trend, because, I mean, look at Pristin or Gugu Dan. They're not, they're not beating everyone over the head with their IOI members. They're just... Yeah. It shouldn't yeah. be... Oh, this IOI member and like seven other people. It should be this group, including an IOI member, because again, it's a group. Ultimately, it's not. It shouldn't just be all about the like the IOI member. So hopefully, yeah. They, I mean, the the other difference also is this is a story MB where those are. That's true. So like, obviously, they're gonna have the main. Oh wait, actress. that's Shibuya. <laughs> yeah, they're in Japan. Yeah, because yeah, she, she, um, she was talking about like Tokyo at the beginning of the music video, but um, but they're so still like, typing in yeah, humble. <laughs> I don't know. I don't trying to find her Opa in, to- in Chibia. <laughs> yep. And because if th- it's not that bad in the other music videos, if I don't if I remember correctly either, so I think we're fine. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I like the song though. I like the song. But right. I love the song. The song is really. It's good. just like really- needs more needs more Kathy rapping. Yeah. yeah no, I, I just think, always need more Kathy think, rapping. Did I pick Kathy as my uh my diet? I, I forget, but we like I, 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 I no, I like Kathy because she Kathy. We always- have the spreadsheet. 
Because Kathy always pops up on my Tumblr, so she's oh, really she's pretty. The best. She's gorgeous. She been... No offense, Cheon, but Kathy should have made it into Iowa instead of you. Dang! Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's my bias. I, it's what did I do? Um, I'm checking. Actually, I don't think I had Daya on the list. Really? You, well, I didn't if think you guys would. Yeah, I didn't put Daya on the list because I didn't think you guys would know. Well, them. like no, tr like Kathy is the only like one of the only members I know from Daya, so she'd be my bias. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway. moving on. Nineteenth, uh, Lee Hiri's actual debut uh, from Davici, her debut yep. in the album H with Hate That I Miss You, and this is the ballad from her. So that's why it's not the other funky pop song wasn't the title track because she's known for ballads. Um, and we got Wu Young from 2PM's Party Shots. It's a Japanese mini album, and it's like hip hop. It it's like a GD song, which is weird because I did not expect that for a Japanese song, like Japanese, for, especially from Wu Young. Yeah, from <laughs> Wu Young, but it's like very much like GD hip hop party. It's called Party Shots, so <laughs> yeah. that's all yeah. you need to know. Uh, on the twentieth, we have twenties, two twenties debut i heard it. it it's girl group pop and then we got bonus it's a baby. horrible name for a group two yeah. and then we got bonus baby another horrible name for a group digital single when i become an adult also girl group pop then jungigo a full-length album across the universe uh title track is also across the universe uh which is an r&b song jungigo is really good um <laughs> this MV. Then, then on the 20th still, we have uh, Kim Young-chol and Hong Jin-young's digital Freaking single, Isaac. Ring Ring. This is I amazing. Kim Young-chol, awesome. and I'm just, all I hear is just, here we go. <laughs> we need more Knowing Bros parody rap, or, like, songs. Yep. Well, I just love how, like, it's I love how traps, it is, or trot, it is I mean. Kim Young-chol cross Hong Jin-young, and Hong Jin-young has no lines in the song, pretty much. Apparently, yeah. apparently the actual, She's just like, in the MV. The full version of the song on iTunes has uh, lyrics from her, or verses from oh, okay. her. okay, so she actually I actually sang. don't know who Hong Jin-young is. She's, like, the one of the most popular trot singers in Korea. She looks yeah, good. she's also on She's on really young for She's, like, 30, but she looks singer. good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, she's... She's amazing. I love how they like they went with like the really weird like almost sigh like like shitty infomercial kind of style. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Love it. Well, yeah, Kim Kim Young Chol is like he's just this ridiculous comedian. So I love it so much. Or there's a Dude, part everybody like everybody makes it seem like they hate him. It's it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah no, he's so funny. <laughs> like this is so weird. Or there's a part of the music video where they're listening to like a melon or a cantaloupe, which I'm sure is a play on they're listening to melon. Yeah. It's just like a really like trot with EDM oh, vibe. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of oh yeah, that was <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> I didn't see Yo, that. Yo, that's how you. That, he, you Wait, know, mama, it was a mama award. Oh yeah, he had a mama award. Yo, that's cheating. He's trying to. He's trying to. Rate, he's trying to um, boost his streaming. Rick, uh, yeah. his streaming rank by listening to Melon. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a mama award. There you go. That's a, that was oh, amazing. Man, I, I didn't even this. notice that. This is such yeah, an that's really stuff. good. Um. Next we have uh where am I where I lost my place uh, ready last, oh yeah we have ready uh full length album universe title track supreme still on the twentieth yeah I, I don't know again I thought this was kind of generic I, I don't like I it like, that's I why I picked it because it's it's just like hail corporate I'm singing about supreme is my favorite brand which is really funny yeah, like, because here at the beginning of the music video somewhere. He walks right by the Diamond Supply Co. store, which is, I'm just like, oh, shoot. It's like another brand, like right, right there. You'll oh, see the Diamond the Supply Michelin Co. Man. Yeah, it's just really generic. And I don't know, I've, I, kind of have, I kind of have a hate boner for Supreme because they're just so fucking overrated. I'm sorry. I hate Supreme so much as a brand because they kind of sold out skate culture where they were really like big into like with skaters and everything. But now they kind of sold out for like doing Louis Vuitton collaborations and making $400 shoes or whatever where yeah it's all like like hip hop fashion now i guess yeah and or That's all like you ever see it in. going back to the song he just keeps rapping rapping about oh the box logo i love the box logo the supreme box logo was actually kind of like they they bootlegged it off of a pop artist i forget her name but she was in moma but yeah they they, they just they kind of i think they were i think she sued them cuz they 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 essentially copied her lo her her artwork and then i think she won the lawsuit yeah. but yeah it's the beat's nice. It's just really, really cringy. I don't like it. It's he just seems like he's just copying whatever every anybody's doing in America. Yeah. And yeah. then filming the MV in LA for yeah. 
Okay, well, we're moving on to part four. Where we're going to start with a great, great, great song. 21st. I use the actual GD palette. too. And Palette is the title track featuring GD. Like I it said. It should have been called 25. It's, like I said, it should have been called twenty five. Like I said before, <laughs> I use voice is like hearing. This is how I imagine angels sing. It's liquid Jesus. Like no, yeah, this <laughs> is like when they when there's like Hark the Herald angels sing. That's it's Ayu. That's it's like Ayu it's singing. her voice. Like her voice is so serene. And it, it's so I'm, cute. I'm so jealous, and I love how I love how she can kind of go. Her style is very versatile where she can dress in the sort of androgynous like over oversized blazer sort of look but she can also pull off like the very flowy dress girly type of look i love and, and also, also go this ahead. is like the first time she's been like like cute and sexy at the same time and it's like off-putting almost <laughs> like <laughs> are you, are you in oh a yeah because she does the whole dancing against the wall with the crop top I you in a yeah. crop top I'm should be like a, I you've never made me feel I you in a crop yeah. top should be illegal. It should <laughs> be illegal. Seen. It should be illegal for Cute. somebody this like uh, like beautiful to do something like that. Like I usually never like get hashtag slayed during a music video, but oh my god! Yeah, literally. <laughs> oh man. Oh, she's like singing that about her age too. for whatever reason. And that wink. And for oh, what so I, yeah, 23, now 25. I'm 23, I'm 25, I'm 27. Oh my god, it's the good day up it. Yeah, and then she, like, the lyrics. old are you? Yeah. I love how she, like, she, it's kind of a throwback to her older songs, Yeah, too. yeah. Though. Uh, it's so I'm, good, though. This is the opposite of Fani. Short hair Ayu is way better than long hair Ayu. I, I, I agree. Uh, like, it's not well, even I just close. like short hair, both of them. I just like short not hair. Not even close. <laughs> like, with... with Yes, this far. Oh, oh my god. god! I guess it's not really it's <laughs> crop top, but yeah. Well, I mean, it's a it's, it's a mid drift. It's thing. just a short. Yeah, I love yeah, how, yeah, I love how like it kind of goes the the music video kind of goes into like vaporwave aesthetics where they have like Windows ninety five pop up windows where it's just, yeah, everyone hates you message. or like they have um they have a Roman bust that yo never in my life have I ever. This wanted, was genius. Like, yeah, with like yeah, going to iTunes. rap demo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, and then for those that didn't see her live performance, she does the rap herself. IU raps. On stage, live. I mean, I love GD, but it's amazing that she did it herself too. Like, throwback to the last music video. Oh my god, Cheshire like, Cat. I like Cheshire. Getting the actual song, like, I love the chorus because like her falsetto is so on point. Well, just everything <sighs> about IU is on point. Yeah, I know. Don't look at you me know, like that. The twenty first <laughs> this month was a really good day. Mm -hmm. the other two songs good day on good day good day uh, yeah i totally did that on purpose like um, i think totally. i said this before or last month but i was really like the the utada hikaru of korea because she puts out music like every two years or so and everyone flips their shit when she actually puts out music <laughs> so she's the nation's little sister I mean, she's all grown up now. I mean, she's but twenty. She's still the well, that was evidence since the last album, though. Yeah, she's twenty five. Or she's, like, she's twenty three, really, because she's my age. But uh, like, I love everything about this song. It's so good. Uh, like, yeah, uh, she's actually my album should be coming soon. Hopefully, if it, if it's I ordered from the same people that I ordered Dreamcatcher from, and that came in a week. So, and so I should be shipped soon, to like. Then. Like almost a week ago, so hopefully I'll have palette soon. But yeah, like I love it. I I wish I could sing like IU. I'm so jealous of how beautiful her voice is. So basically, you want to sing like Oh Hyuk? <laughs> maybe, yep. maybe, uh, maybe. Because yeah, you, male I'm IU would it. be. Okay. I can't hit that. I I can't hit the falsetto as high as she does. But yeah, uh, I can't. Right I now, but like it. I could hit I'm it. Twenty five. I I don't know the rest. That's, no. that's the only English. Anyway. Um, moving on to the new Boa debut <laughs> pre-release digital Kim single Chung week ha. Kim Chung Ah, so and good. it's a ballad. It's, but it's, it's an a good amazing because it's Chung Ah. No, this day ballad. this day was amazing <laughs> because like... Chung Ah is known for her dancing, <laughs> and she was like, "Bitch, no, I got Honestly, the vocals to back my, it up." Vocals. Like again, another. I, keep, I, I hate going back to this word, but her voice is so serene in this and angelic. Like she even sounds wait. like Boa. Yeah, like, no, she sounds voice, like Boa. She sounds like Boa. She dances like Boa. She's the new Boa. I called it the instant I saw her on Produce One One. <laughs> I was like, she's the new Boa, and it happened. 
And now so Bo happy. is the the MC of Produce. Oh, so maybe Produce one day, one. exactly, Chang'e will be the MC for the the like the fifth, sixth season of I don't know, <laughs> if if Produce One Hundred One will go that long, <laughs> but yeah, um, like I I, I, I I can't get over how pretty she is. It's it's not fair. It's absolutely she's my bias. Yeah, she's my bias too. I this is my first. bias because <laughs> everyone in Iowa is my bias. Yeah, because Nate can't pick one. Um. I think this just makes you more excited for what her like actual upbeat like dance track's gonna be like because if her vocals are this good on just a ballad like imagine I, I, I can't I can't even imagine how good her her own like dance track's gonna be I can't wait to be completely yeah honest. I'm sure she's gonna do her own choreography also yeah same. yeah well yeah she choreographed Bang what Bang the performance well and Bang Bang that they did in Brothers One Hundred One and yeah. Like, yeah she choreographs a ton. So she'll definitely choreograph. Yeah, that's it why that she's, she's. You can see just how incredibly talented she is. Where this is the pre-release and it's amazing already. Yeah, I think uh, though I don't think the debut is a dance track because I think they said it was an R&B song. Oh, well, I don't mind anyway. Damn. Just I love. Well, it probably has it. Probably has a groovy dance though. So yeah, as long as yeah, there's choreography, because yeah. I want to see that more from. Cause oh, there'll get, definitely be choreography because she'll be performing on music but, shows like, for sure. What a what a good what a, a good day, quote unquote. Uh, not no pun intended, but that we get Ayu <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Chunga on the same. Imagine if there yep. was an ever a collaboration between Ayu and Chunga, that put me in the grave. I, that, like, I don't know if the world can handle that much good vocal talent on one song. Yep. And the last song that we got on the twenty first is also really cool. It's a Stanley Clark band featuring Chris, Cl- Cl- yeah, Cl- 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 Chris Clark. <laughs> it's a station yeah, probably, song. I think it's a song to be alive. Chris Clark. And it's a jazz song. It's not K-pop. It's, it's it has really nothing good, to do though. with K-pop. Yeah, but, but it starts really rapping cool. at the end. It, was cool. it has rap. Yeah, it's a jazz song with rapping at the end. And the bass, he is so good. Like, it's really. I don't cool. know. I don't know if I can explain how hard it is to get slap bass correctly because, okay, so I so I played bass for about six, seven years in, um, starting from like middle school into high school or whatever. So, what you do to play slap bass, you know that. Okay, so take your thumb. You know the hard part of your thumb, like right where like the, it bends. You have to hit like if you feel like the bony part there. You have to hit, you have to hit the string off of there and it hurts. It hurts so bad. And like when you're doing it at first and if you don't do it right, you don't get the sound, but if you can do it correctly, like it just sounds so amazing. Like, dong, dong, dong. And I love, or this song is just so like fusion jazz, like, oh, and he's doing the talk box right now. It's sort of like (laughs) old school, like West coast hip hop sort of vibe uh like this song is really good i'm glad that and he's a he's a he's a legend when it comes to like fusion jazz or he does a lot of tv um he's he scores a lot of television soundtracks as well so it's insane that sm was able to collaborate with stanley clark um yeah the drummer for this is actually really good too like i don't know him but yeah like, he's good like oh I, god i think it's his son is the guy who raps at the end yeah I like i love the rap too yeah yeah like I, I really like it. I think it's really cool. I just did wish there was something and tied piano. to SM. Like, if maybe, like, Sean Yol came like, out and rapped after him imagine? or something. Like, yeah, that'd yeah be so, cool. like, this this rap here is super, super old Yo, school. This is, like, early 80s. Doesn't he sound like... Yeah, yeah. It, it sounds like 80s hip-hop, like, or Run DMC yeah. style, but doesn't yep. he sound like... Like, if you listen to his voice, doesn't he sound like Del the Funky Homo Sapien? Like, he, the guy... He was a rapper on, Gorilla, like, early Gorilla songs. Yeah, yeah. Like, Chris. Yeah, like, I could see it. Yeah, exactly it. that. And another, this reminds me of a lot. Yeah, Del is from, he's from De La Soul, right? No, Del the Funky Homo Sapiens is like his own thing. De La Soul is like a different group. Oh, I thought that, I thought it was a group. I don't know. But yeah, I know De who La, he is, though. De La Soul I just was figured, on... I think, I think I just figured that he was in that. No, 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 no. Del the Funky Homo Sapiens is his own thing, but. So, yeah, but I know, I, I know who you're talking yeah, no, about, this, though. This, this reminds me a lot of The Roots as well. The Roots is, um, like, a legendary... On like, Jimmy, F- like Jimmy Fallon yeah, show they're, they're, they play on. No, but yeah, no, yeah, they, yeah. before they were on Jimmy Fallon, like, they're known as, like, a really yeah. good, like, Phil... Because like, they're both they're both The Roots and um, Stanley Clark are Philadelphia-based. Like, they incorporate a lot yep. of soul into hip-hop sort of um, vibes where, oh, my God, they I love this kind of music so much, so... Yeah, it's great. Apparently, he's a Scientologist yeah, as well. Really That's cool. what I saw in his... Uh, Oh god! That's what I saw. In it. <laughs> I mean, he's rich enough to be a Scientologist, so but yeah, no, I love, yeah. We got to freaking song. give you like seventy percent of your income to them. Yeah. Yep. I'd like to see more of this type of uh, collaboration, even if it yeah, doesn't. Yeah, cool. Even if it doesn't it's have great. any SM artists. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
On the 23rd, we had Double K's full-length album, Green Wave, the single Used To. It's hip-hop. And yep. we got Jung Hyun, Jung Han Byo, Han Byo. Uh, mini album, Dumb Love, uh, which is like just straight pop music. Um, or that song is, at least. On the 24th, uh, Chang Sung... Chang, ah, I can't talk Chang anymore. Sub. I've done this for so long. Chang Sub Chang from Sub. B2B, uh, his debut digital single, At The End. Uh, it's an acoustic ballad. Uh, we got Hyoko's... This is my bed and brother. Three, uh, with the title track, Tomboy, which Oof. is indie rock. This whole album, we're, we have to do a review at mm-hmm. some point. Yeah. I was like, gonna say this album next. was really, really, really good. We're, we're doing yeah. female Hyako for female <laughs> Hyako first, and then male. I might just make it my topic next week. Or we'll we see. could do. Oh, they're both but full yeah. albums though. It's gonna be so long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll have another three hour. No, I, I, love, I might do it the week after. I, I don't love know. the music we'll see video. When it comes out. By the way, it's just like a really weird. Like everything is on fire. Oh yeah. Everything's lit. Like li- like not even just like a, just like a joke or whatever. Everything's like on fire for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. it's all like pen drawn. Like yeah, with yeah, a, yeah, it's just like all line art, sort of um, almost like hand. Like one of like. Yeah, Micron with, pens. yeah, it's almost like hand yeah. animated sort of thing. His vocal, like his vocals, are really on point, and I love like the the vocalizations, like this part, like like the oh, it's kind of it kind yep. of it kind of U two like in a in a way, but yeah, yeah, this is a really good song, really good song. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, yeah, we'll have to do a full review. Uh, actually, the entire album is great. I haven't really heard of uh, much of his stuff before. Oh, he's so good. He's I'm a really big fan. Well, he's also under high ground, but I knew them before they were under high ground. So <laughs> really, they're I was under high ground. Excited when they got signed. Yeah. So different from what everyone else on high well, ground. Well, high ground. Else. If think about high. Uh, so Woolim, when that was founded, it was originally supposed to be for like hip hop and like under under known like indie artists. That's yeah. basically what high ground is now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For like Indian hip hop. It's like the black skirts are similar to Shoko, so in that respect, I mean. Yep. Uh, still on the twenty fourth, we've got uh, Jong Hyun from Shiny's full length album yep. Story Op Two. Title track is Lonely, featuring Taeon. It's I a mean, sequel to uh, to Breath from SM okay. the Ballad. To do that ballad, but mm. no, it isn't really. But I I guess say it is. Literally, two of the best singers in the industry. So. Mm. Yep. I kind of wanted I mean, more of his like she is vibe like his last album was where it's electro pop where this goes back to like a just ballad and then uh, yo this part whenever he's he starts marking like tallies i'm guessing that's for the days yep. he misses the girl he's talking about but it just reminds me of doctor who where uh they just start <laughs> there's like a there's like aliens that make you forget that you encounter them so what they do to remember that they encountered them is to to write down like tally marks on their arms that's what i thought of but Yo, he seems like the saddest rich person ever. He's just like in his pool, yeah. sitting like playing his piano. <laughs> he's all alone he's in just this like huge eating, house, all this he's fancy just like shit. eating a fancy ass steak dinner with wine by himself. I'm just yeah. like, oh, boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> and he's all he so can, lonely though. He's he's like he has like all this like rich accoutrements, and all he can sing about is this girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at the house. <laughs> he's just like sad. The freaking fine china. Yeah, yep. but it's Jong Hyun, it's Jong Hyun ballad, yep. with Taeyeon. With Taeyeon. With Taeyeon, which makes it all the better. Mm-hmm. And next, Taeyeon ballads are amazing. It's K. A-O-D. Watch the card cast. Digital single rumor, volume three. I if I don't get it, I'm gonna be real pissed. Are you? Are you? Are, have almost, you been checking? I've almost got the lyrics. I've been checking, even though I have the alert up. So like. I don't even need to check, but I'm still checking, okay. like, daily. Okay, so just, I guess, to, like, give our, like, cliff notes of it, if you... Well, first, Stop. if you want to watch, like, our initial reaction, watch the card cast. But now that I've had a bit of... Card cast. A bit of time to mull it over, um... Reggaeton. I still think... I think it's good, yeah. It's, de- it's the most reggaeton, reggaeton song that they do. Um, you just said apparently it, like, it's technically Korean Apparently, it's technically, like, moon baton is what it's called, because it's, like, what? electronic. We're just, yeah. like, yeah, people just making up words at this no, point. No, 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 DSP <laughs> called it that. 
<laughs> DSP's making up words at this point. <laughs> um, There's so many like, random tone. ass words for genres. <laughs> I guess that, to just like further expunge on my my beyond my initial thoughts that I went to the card cast, like. I like okay. I like that Jacef sings. I like that there's a lot more back and forth between the guy and girl vocals. Well, I'll say I like that there's more of them singing together. Yeah, definitely. Because that literally has hasn't happened except for Onana part in Onana. I do have to like, say though, we've this never is, had them all singing at once. If I were to rank all three of them though, I'd probably put this third because I think I like don't recall better. I, I put don't recall Onana and then Rumor. That's probably mm. my order too, but I mean. That's like rating, like G and O. It's and like ra- it's like rating your children, like which yeah, you like it's, best. Yeah, it's like <laughs> is, like G is better than Genie, which is better than O, but they're all like, like I think everyone knows pretty much the exact same level. Everyone knows no, that we're they're really high on this way group. up at the top. Everyone knows that we're like we're hard fit fanboys through and through but i can understand why people might be sort of lukewarm on this where it's like it's another sort of similar sounding reggaeton yeah i'm um, i'm between don't recall on this i don't know which one i like better no i think i like don't probably about equal yeah so like i understand why people are starting to get burned out already just because it is similar songs, but I just think they're so good that I'm okay. Yeah, and I mean that's like I'm happy that they just keep doing yeah, this amazing music. And that's music. kind of that's kind of just how reggaeton or um, dance hall usually operates. Like a lot of the beats sound very similar. It's just very <laughs> they have the same they have the same tempo, like very slow like speed sort of thing. But yeah, it's still a solid card released, and like I said in the actual. Um, card cast so min is wrecking my bias right now. <laughs> like well, you, absolutely the, the, still wrecking it. <laughs> Here it is. Yep. That's the best part. <laughs> and no, she she hits the high note too, so yeah. Anyway, that's no. the part. Go watch just the, the part where they freaking just show her back. I guess oh, that yeah. part. <laughs> um we yeah, just, just go watch the card cast if you want to see our full reactions. Yep, and episode two coming out soon. Da, 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 Sunday da. Is the hidden version. Da, 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 da. And okay, we're gonna react to that. Uh, next Snooper. is uh, <laughs> Snooper's mini album Best I name. wanna with Snooper. the title track "Back Hug." It's boy group pop. Snooper is probably uh, so, up there with one of the worst K-pop groups. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, what is Snooper <laughs> stand for? Like, is it Snooper? Is it like Super and Nope? Super Sniper. I don't know. It's Super I just Sniper 64. Like that the top comment on the Reddit post for this was complaining about Card because apparently Super also does like Tropical House vibes. Oh. And someone's like, it's sad that Card's gonna get all the all the attention today, but this song's really good. Yo, it ain't well, it ain't sad. It ain't sad. <laughs> don't, card, don't be, don't be salty. There <laughs> are gods. Um, there's enough Tropical House for the. Actually, everyone. I'm curious how many views this music video has now compared to Card. Oh my god, they don't even have 50k. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Damn, Snooper. <laughs> Poor Snooper. They have to change their name, that's why. Yeah, their name yeah, is that's... real bad. Um, don't and finally... be like that one one group called Snakehead or whatever. Is that is that Fyung? such a bad name. Why? No. <laughs> no, Fy Young was in Boys 24. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, and finally, on the 24th, we have Yoon Jong Shin's uh, Monthly Melody Project single, Fossil and Rookie. Okay, which so which is like a funk song. Looky, looky. Okay, so for if awesome. you forgot, if you forgot, this is the guy that he made the sort of animated music video with like the the couple that met in college, and it's a really yeah, yeah, yeah. the really sad song with the freaking like opera singer in it. See, so yeah, I'm yep. I'm starting to like him a lot. I love more. the music video for sure. Yeah, this yeah. music video is just like all like almost like Russian propaganda pop art sort of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's all yeah, like communist like, propaganda. It reminds us. It reminds me of like not the like style i guess or not like the art style but it just reminded me of persona yeah <laughs> no, just, or, like the transitions oh, red and and black. Yeah, definitely just red and black like the motifs are similar yeah also, and all the transitions are really also, cool also it reminds me of like daft punk um in there like oh yeah, yeah like yeah. Uh, so it, this For sounds sure. like something straight off of the random access memories album like so much i love Zorga. it we're just like really Zorga. like yeah. 70s funk inspired yep yeah it was really cool Especially because I'm pretty sure all of his other monthly melody projects have been ballads. John Lennon, so and I expected Yoko a ballad. <laughs> Singing in Korean. I, I don't know how sac- get a ballad. Yeah. 
I know how sacrilegious it is for Yoko Ono to be singing in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we, we might get sued for just mentioning Yoko Ono. She like she likes her money. <laughs> Probably. I'm sure. I like the Obey. <laughs> the Obey know, logo. Give her. Or then freaking Dave Chappelle randomly shows up in the music. Or like... Obama, like just like a really Obama, random, okay. like, pop art. I didn't watch this whole music video. <laughs> yeah, oh no, the music video is amazing. I love it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, I really like the funk like aspect to it. Uh, moving on, uh, we got a bunch that we don't have music videos for for a while. Twenty um, fifth, we have Bumkey's double digital singles, Ebony and Ivory. With two I was like names. Bumkey, but it wasn't it wasn't like amazing though. Yeah. Um, that's I like Bumkey though overall. Then we have more Skull, which is more reggae. Uh, oh, digital stupid. single Killage Reds. Uh, it's also it's with C Jam and Jav. I like uh, Javinci. I like C Jam. It was just like, eh. like he's one like of the only the like he's one of the skull. only lazy rappers I actually like. Um, and finally on the twenty fifth we have We Are the Night digital single Our Young Days it's a ballad on the 26th we have BAP's Japanese version of Wake Me Up we covered it we last month we last really month, liked it so. yep um we have Elephant or Elephant <laughs> featuring Yang Dail digital single uh Sang Hwan Swing Hwal Sang Hwal uh Sokulo 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 um, whatever that Same means. So I'm gonna see if the English oh it means invitation. Which uh, saying saying while is close to saying ill, which is happy birthday, so or birthday. So it's R and B. Uh Lee Xian's digital single A Letter to Me, it's a ballad. Right, okay. Then we have Momo Land, single album Wonderful Love. <laughs> it's dabbing. It's dabbing <laughs> it's got everywhere. Lots of dabbing. Cooper loves All they it. Do is Cooper like, loves it. <laughs> Oh god, I did it wrong. <laughs> they even put it in slow motion every time they dab. They do. Like, well, it's the main. It's like part of the, the chorus. Like, it's the point Ooh. dance, basically. I know, but it's hilarious that they slow motion it every time they do it. Yeah. So it's gonna come up in a second. Yeah, it'll happen. Um, but yeah, it's girl group pop. They do it. No, they don't do it that first part. They do it like the first part of the chorus. Yeah, I watched um, the whole video. I don't know why I didn't remember that, but yeah. But yeah, this is a very like really like cutesy girl group song, almost yep. G friend like. It's cool it's that they filmed in Latte World. Oh yeah, Momo Land, oh, is it like, Latte the World. Okay. I thought yeah, it said somebody said World. Everland or whatever. I don't know. Oh, that might be Everland. I get, they're they're both similar. Yeah, is it is this like um, is this like Disney World in Korea or? Yeah, like Everland like and Latte, Land, Latte World. Are, are they gonna like, the are two, they gonna open Momo Land? Momo Land, yeah. There we go. Oh, there was. Is Momo gonna be there? She, oh uh, yeah, called, Momo in. Land and she called in Momo to the uh, reality show that made Momo Land. Really? She oh, she did. She, yeah, she, because, uh, uh, is it Nancy? I think is her name. Um, She's friends with Momo because she used to be a JYP trainee, I think. Oh, yo, Nancy, Um, I think I, I think she, I don't, I don't really know Momo Land that off that well, but I think Nancy might be my bias because she's the one. Nancy's in, like, the, everyone's bias because she's a visual. No, because she has huge <laughs> Dumbo ears and it's really adorable. Yep. Wait, which um, one is Nancy? You can you can't miss her. She has like her, her ears stick out like Dumbo. <laughs> like oh, yeah, her. her. She's really oh, cute. Okay. Yeah. But love Wait, you have to you have no. to use that in an intro sometime. Freaking the lyrics are and I quote, "Love is in my pocket. Let's shoot it like a rocket." <laughs> Just right up there. Shoot it like a rocket. It's like make a whistle um, like a missile. Mm-hmm. That's true. But yeah, I think <laughs> this is pretty solid for a new group. You liked it, okay? Yeah. So, see, I'm disappointed, but that's just too because, much dabbing. Well, no, I no, I don't even mind the dabbing, and I like the song, <laughs> but I really liked the uniqueness of their debut. Yeah. Um, Jang Kwang Kung, Jang Kwang Kung. It's just a bunch. It's just a bunch of like sound words. But yeah, some um, people. Some people are the saying the song's that like really unique has some like really cool unique parts to it so i was a little disappointed at how like just standard girl group this was i liked it though but I, no i like i like the song i was just I like I, to it's kind of and... it's it's similar to a very good situation where i was i was hoping for more of the last song Too hyped yeah and i got got something completely different i'll need to li- go back and listen <laughs> to that first song yeah no their debut song's really good i liked a lot um Moving on, uh, finally Best on the 26th, huh? 
What? It's the best name. Oh. Finally, on the 26th, we have Nasty Naro from Code <laughs> V. Japanese solo debut last night. It's an no, R&B you. song. On the 27th, we have Luna One Thirds repackaged mini album Love and Evil with the title track Sonatine. And it's it's more Luna, like... I actually really like this though because it's just really... this one. This one was way better though than yeah, the no, other that, one. Yeah, no, that's true. Like we were like I was mentioning before, but like where I'm kind of worried about like the singles. But this this gives me hope for the actual like Luna group because this is pretty good. Like all their vocals are really good. Um, I love yeah. the string arrangement. It's just like it's not like G Friend where it's in the background where this is almost entirely reliant on the strings to to carry the song. It's just, really yeah. unique so are they not like unveiling any more members and <laughs> i'm not sure no, vv vv was the new member this month. vv was a new member oh oh so it's not one i thought it huh? was 12 members so one third is four yeah there's four members yeah in there. yeah there's but luna one third in- was like from like last month wasn't it yeah yeah I it's, the, it's their like mini or their their uh subunit so technically there wasn't a new member this month no there, there wasn't a new member last month yeah, so that's why I was like, or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> but I, I still don't understand what's going on. I just well, because like their Korean name means this month's girl. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we discussed. Yeah, I- Idari Sonia means this month's girl. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm, I'm pretty high know. on this song. I need to start buying. Do they do they have physical albums yet? Because I kind of want to start buying it up <laughs> before. Uh, I doubt it's probably it. digital. You could probably get them off of our dealer on eBay. Yo, because if because if they were like, if I if I get in ground floor on Luna and they could become huge, I just want to be like, okay, I don't need to go look for scrounge for these. But yeah, I really like this song. Uh, this is probably one of my like the of the group songs. I think they like this song better than the the first song they did, Love and Live. Uh, the first like uh, Luna one third song. Yeah, I definitely like this better than the last mm-hmm. ones. Yeah, it's a lot more unique here in terms yeah, of like how exactly. it's. Sort- like a sound definitely among girl groups yep um moving on we have mind you's debut digital single love uh, i don't know the name of it it's uh choa his or choa hey ni na bwa choa oh yeah hit yeah choa hit na loved you uh is loved the- you is the title track yep. featuring mad clown mad it's clown's acoustic, a really good rapper it's an acoustic pop song um, and then we have Sleepy's digital debut, Beautiful Life, or not digital Great debut, name. Digital Great single, stage name. Beautiful Life, <laughs> uh, which is hip hop. Sleepy. And this then we have right here. Saran's digital single, Wine, featuring Chongo. Saran is, produced Saran by is Suga. so good. Produced by Saran. Suga. This oh song is really good. It like, got first on the charts today. Yeah, I, I was oh, surprised. Korea loves Saran. Really? I didn't, I didn't know she was No, yeah, She yeah. said this was her first, though. Yeah, I know, but um, she's got like a. Did it all kill? I, it might be like more like a cult following. I don't think it all killed. But kill, like, but... it's because her her last song that caught on, "Calling in Love," that caught on like after like way after it came out. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, with uh, Bean Zeno was featuring. But yeah, the, the production level on this is amazing. Like, like Bravo, Bravo, Yoongi. Yeah, like, he's I was gonna really say, good. Like, it's, it's a, really well produced. Like, you can you, you can sort of see like the BTS influence, and in it. it's this sort of like future based electro pop smooth rb yep. which works so well with how sudan's voice is it's just where her voice is smooth like butter and yep. ugh, i need a whole album of this stuff like free, like literally like i need a full sudan album with uh with suga as the producer <laughs> yeah for sure that's i feel so like well. that'd be actually really cool yep like, yeah that's really good okay so apparently the girl on the cover is this girl that keeps popping up she's the I forget her name, but she was supposed to debut in that group heart, but apparently that girl group heart got canceled. Hmm. Really? I think we mentioned it before. I think we mentioned her before because oh. she was in a model. She was like a. She was in a music video. Didn't last hmm. time we covered a, a release list, but yeah. I love or Chang Chang Mo's part is pretty good too, but yeah, this is. I think I think Sunan does well because her voice is fairly unique. When it comes to K-pop, or there's there's a lot of yeah, raspiness to is. it, so I love it. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and then if you want to move on, Andrew, to your lesser known artists. All right, so <laughs> oh, technically speaking, there's only one or two lesser known artists. The last I was to say, really. 
I just put here. Just... I just I just want to end with the the drama. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. So this one is, or right. on the eighth we got layback sound. Uh, album is where it's a digital single and the title track or the only track is it's called where it's a sort of um funky indie style I, I think that's mainly what i'm looking for when i hear yeah when i hear the um lesser known artist tracks because a lot of it like 90 percent of it's ballad or hip-hop but i'm just like eh. yeah yeah <laughs> this song i really like though it's just like a really really chill mv i love how they frame like the 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 top and bottom black bars like a like a movie against like the really like dark like yeah, ultra wide yeah like and the ultra wide thing with like it blends well with like the nighttime sort of th- theme with uh the music video so yeah it's almost like acid trippy it's kind of sounds like music you'd listen to it when you walk into h&m or something <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, yeah i liked this one uh a decent amount uh, especially compared to the next one especially compared all to right, this let's one. go on to it okay uh, so this is right. talk about this exp edition <laughs> best new boy group feel like this <laughs> Genre so wanna be it's, it's literally tagged as in the genre or like the the style of song in the because we get this re- uh, release list from Reddit so shout out to the, everyone who compiles it but the person that put this song on the on lesser known artist it's tagged as wanna be K-pop <laughs> it's literally <laughs> tagged as wanna be K-pop so yeah That's this is an American good. K-pop group yep so it's four white dudes no there's a, there's a Chinese one guy. of them's half oh, Japanese oh one of them's Japanese. half Japanese apparently they used to have a black guy that quit the group yeah they had a black guy happened. yeah there was a comment and it was like where's the hot black guy yeah where's the hot black guy <laughs> when this song came out um so yeah it's four white or half white dudes and they don't speak Korean and they're like oh well, let's just let's just get in on this K-pop thing and make a K-pop group. I think this it brings up a really good question of what constitutes K-pop? Is it Koreans? Knowing how to speak Korean. In, oh, knowing yeah. how to speak Korean. Koreans being in the group. Like, can you have a K-pop group without think, Koreans in it? Like, I think at least Korean heritage for at least one member should probably be there. Or at least you... So, like, you have, like, or at least you all Korean Americans. Or, or I mean, half white. Like, half I have... Or half I, Korean. Obviously, I have no problem with them being white or, like, being non-Asian or whatever. Yeah. It's just... This just seems Why? like it. Just seems like they. Well, all right. They don't know how to dance. They don't know how to speak Korean. Yeah. Uh, this is not even. This is like just a generic American song. It's just like. It kind of. Fe- it kind of feels like the only reason why they called it K-pop or why they sing in Korean is because it's just the the flavor of the month right now. And oh, because- it's just a promotional stunt to get. Because if they went into American music, they'd just be drowned in yeah. That's a that's a thing. The amount of American music, like, and they should be drowned in the amount of Korean music, but like, they're white, so they get headlines. Yeah, that's a thing. Like, it's what if they were to release this as an English song, it just get absolutely buried among like the other EDM style like kind of songs. Because so yeah, that's the only reason why they sung this in Korean. It's because they wanted to have some sort of uniqueness to it, but it just doesn't. But turn out well and it just comes off as really generic and like it's trying it's kind of like they they try to they try to like allocate every single like k-pop trope into just one music video just really like upbeat dance track they have the freaking like the the smoke except they have no choreography yeah no choreography all right yeah the thing is for me like the thing that it really they really like brush me the wrong way like they come off as really arrogant to me yeah yeah i agree like they they look like freaking just like a bunch of like rich dukes fags who are like, yeah, I can just go like do whatever and I, I mean, want. I can just make a K-pop song and be successful. Like, and I mean, if yep. they really wanted to go to K-pop, do it the do it the right way. Like, yeah, how, exactly. If I was a trainee tra- system, if I was a tra- like pretty well, yeah, this is basically a publicity stunt where essentially it worked. Essentially, what they wanted was to get people talking about oh god, Americans, uh, the first American K-pop group, and as, uh, ultimately they wanted the, the name recognition, and ultimately they wanted to just get like viral or whatever and it did yeah so, but well if i don't it, know if it did like viral in the world viral it good publicity it got people talking but good it was not like bad, a success publicity is publicity even if it's bad yeah, these yeah. days. so like i, guess I mean what, they got views but i guess what i wanted to like close that with is if you want to if you really want you're hell bent on becoming a k-pop star do it the right way 
Go to a, go learn to, Korean. What learn Korean? Because their two. pronunciation is horrible, and I lived there only lived there for four months. Yeah, and that was five years ago, and I can tell that their pronunciation's bad. Yeah, same. Like, like go to an entertainment company, learn how to dance, learn how to properly sing in Korean. Because there's it's there are, there's hundreds of foreigners that didn't know Korean that took their time and learned how to pronounce yeah th- pronounce things right yep. and. Trying to do this is just a slap in the face to those people who are actually like paying it, their dues, trying to. It's like, bringing, make... it's bringing all the thoughts back that I had with Alex. Yeah, this well, is the very. I mean, it's the same thing, but that's the different same thing because like... she was being used by the company, where this is them yeah. just being douchebags, like yeah, Jacob th- said. Yeah, this is this them... is them on their own trying being those arrogant people that are like, we can just do this. So we yeah, don't they, need training. Yeah, we don't is, need to know the language. Yeah, this is definitely where Alex like, they're, they're, got scouted. Mm-hmm, where yeah, they, where where Alex was like, she was just like a cog in the machine. These guys are like actively pushing for this. So yeah, yeah. So it's even worse. It's way worse. Yeah, it just comes off the wrong way. All right, and to close things off on this yeah, long ass on. show, all right. <laughs> We have we have some b- 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 shots fired between um, oh, yeah. <laughs> between Juicy Cat and or Who Juicy no one knows and Fuck her. actually Casper. you know you know actually I have a uh, hell yeah. thing I just realized like apparently like the whole like bwah, 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 like that's actually a thing like yeah. like Korean people say that now it's like a slang oh no thing. yeah 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 blah, no, that's, blah, a, that's blah, a slang a thing. Yeah, people say a, that in America yeah, too yeah that's a slang no I never I never see people say it out loud I only f- hear the oh no uh, we, sound we've effect. done that all the time as we do that as a joke all the time mm-hmm. oh. okay so these that's aren't definitely really, a thing these aren't these don't technically count as like new songs or whatever these are just um they're they're uh, SoundCloud. Ca- yeah, there's no, they're, they're rapping over um, borrowed beats so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah which is what you usually do for a diss track so. The first diss track is oh shoot um is juicy this I think that I like the, the the title translates to something about like Casper's like Casper Jinshim Chonun or Chonna Shilum 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 yeah Casper uh, Jinshim Jona Shilum yes yeah I don't know I don't yeah, know what that means other than a, Casper obviously it's a slight at Casper so yeah yeah her name yeah. is in the freaking. <laughs> Yeah, and so Where's there are the things I've part? caught listening to it. Um, she calls out like Casper wanting to be an idol, basically, and like being on Pretty Rap Star, and going from that to trying to be an idol. Idol. Um, yeah, you want to be an idol. Want to like, be an idol. And her pronunciation's really bad. And Biatch. Which leads to an amazing part in Biatch. Casper's response. Okay, so <laughs> um, the beat she's rapping over is for um. Keith Ape X Niska X Thirteen Block X Travis Tight Beat produced by Young. So yeah, it's she she borrowed a Keith Ape song to rap. That's 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 not that, there's nothing wrong with borrowing the beat or whatever. It's for a diss track, but yeah. I don't think her Keith her flow her flow does not work well on this. Like her yeah, voice song does was not, not work good. well on this, this song. This one and was not good. This is like you have to if you're gonna write a diss track, you got you gotta come correct. Like you gotta you gotta be on your A game because the anything that you give them as like f- potential firing, like Yeah, it's fuel. Like like it's Yep. This is weak. Like this is like I I, I I've heard I've heard like five year olds with better rap songs than this. Okay, so then <laughs> I love the thumbnail Casper used. The following so good. The following the song is um Casper. I, I like the song like the the title of the song she is She just, just did like, like the eyes. Like yeah, it's supposed to be like the eye emoji. And yeah. it's a, the, the the image is this amazing image of Trump giving the middle finger, which is like obviously photoshopped. But she's rapping over um the the beat to "Harden the Paint" by Waka Flocka, which is amazing because I love this song, so I immediately love this already. And then and she's her flow is just way her better. Her flow is a hundred million times better than Juicy's flow, and towards the end the best of the parts s- at the end. Yeah, towards the end of the song, <laughs> yeah. she's just like she also calls her a bitch a bunch. The, and the then be- at the end, calls her bitch a bunch more. The best part, the best part of hip hop. She's like, B- Biachi, what the fuck? The are best, you the best part of hip hop is when they do like skits in the songs because they're so ridiculous and I love it. So yeah. basically, the whole point at the end of the song is just because she was dissing Juicy for not being able to say the word bitch correctly. She'd say Biachi or like how like the romanization or like how it'd be in like with Koreans. So ah, it went back. Um. <laughs> anyway, um. See, so yeah, like. Pretty much, it's just like, oh, she's trying to teach her the word bi- bitch, but she can't say the word bitch correctly. And then she's like, yo, what are you saying? Your English is horrible. Get out of my life. It's like she goes off at her at the end. It's just like, 
Yeah, Casper just really went off on this song. And then we just yesterday, we got the returning No, fi- just today. Just today. This we got was the, like a few hours ago. Yeah, we got the return fire from um from Juicy Cat. And at the beginning of the song, just as a play on like her like Casper making fun of um her Juicy's pronunciation of biatch. She has a sample that says, What up, biatch? What up, biatch? Like the, oh, yeah. the entire song, which is funny. I actually like this diss song a lot better than the first one because her flow, it seems to work a lot better. I don't know what the, the beat she's rapping over is, though. Yeah, yeah but the- she 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 was trying to justify her saying, like, biatchy. Mm-hmm. Like, she was trying to say biatch, but she kept saying the she part. Yeah. <laughs> so this cover image is supposedly... A pre-debut, pre-surgery yeah, image of Casper. I don't know what the authenticity of that is, but apparently she's, she's obviously calling out her looks or whatever, or like she's fake as hell. But I mean, I, I saw her Instagram. Number one, Juicy's actually pretty cute, like in the she'd kill me eh. kind of way. Um, and two, she's yeah, I agree with Jacob. <laughs> I don't know. I, I said I like I, I like Yandere. I like I like crazy. Well, you know what they say, don't stick your dick in crazy, but <laughs> um, she's she's pretty cute. Um. I, I think we oh, were. She just, just called. Oh yeah. Also, one one thing, one more thing about this this song. She's all. She calls out Kisum, because Kisum's friends with Casper. And she so was Kisum. Was Kisum on Unpretty? Jacob would know more than she I. She was right. Hundred percent sure so. Kisum was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was. was. Yeah, I think they're friends. So That's yeah, I mean, they friends. Mm-hmm. yeah, she was on the first season. Okay. Yeah, so, no, she they, was. And show me on the money sure. season three. So everyone, like the conspiracy is right now is that this is all like an elaborate ploy for Juicy to get on Unpretty Rap Star, which is why she's trying yeah, to Yeah, she's dish. just trying to get, oh, trying um, to get recognition. Definitely. That's this just, one was also on show me the money three. Yeah. 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 Um, cause yeah, no one really knows who the hell she is. But I mean, she's, Casper, she's, cat. she's not, I mean, yeah. like, like all fair, all like fair, like popular. judgment to her. She's not that bad. Like this song shows me that she has potential. And I listen to her other songs, and they're not as bad as the first. The first. Yeah, that diss first track. one was not good. Cause this suits her a lot more. Yeah, it was where, a lot better. This suits her a lot more, I believe. It's just like an old school, like eighty, like nineties hip hop vibe, like West Coast style, with like the mm-hmm. the theremins, like kind of a uh, beat. So yeah, she has potential, and I mean. If she was to put out like non diss rap music, I'd probably listen to her. But obviously, dissing Casper and Kisum it kind of like muddied the waters, unfortunately. But also, yeah, yep. she seems she does seem crazy. She seems insane. <laughs> yeah, like she, there's no way. I'd I mean, she's she's cute. Want to hang with she's her? She's cute, but yeah, she seems she seems very like she'd snap on like a, a moment's notice. Also, yeah. just shout out she. Her her profile picture on SoundCloud is freaking Cosmog from Pokemon Sun and Moon. I think she's like a giant weeaboo or something. But yeah, that's everything. That's everything. All right, so let's see where we where we at. Three hours. Just under three hours. <laughs> Called it. Well, so much for that plan. But yeah. anyways, um, thanks for tuning in this week, and uh, yeah, we'll be back next month with some more jams. And yep. next week with some more topics. And I should have EXO yeah. up, the EXO vlog up sometime in the near future. And also and st- um, unboxings. Unboxings. Yes. We still have a couple that we could put out. Uh, we have Pristine is shot but not edited. We have GD Vinyl that you got is It's been edited. uploaded for a couple of weeks. And then uh, I have Dreamcatcher to shoot. And sometime soon, I'll be getting uh, Palette by Ayu and YOLO by Daya. Mm-hmm. Yep. So those are on their way. All right. Yeah. On Andrew. It's bitch. Oh, no, it's bitch, not biachi. No. Biachi. No, you should have said stay creamy, biachi. Stay creamy, <laughs> biachi. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Lift It came out before 20 yeah, yeah, disbanded, yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, nothing has come like, out since. Like this is the first thing bef- uh, since they've disbanded, so everyone's got like their like really hyped up. So I could easily see maybe like overhyping it or something, but yeah. Uh, overall, I was really satisfied with it. It was it was what I was looking for. So like like you said, like with the raves. Like,